something. Hi doll. Playing chicken police today. Today. Ooh, the vibes. Wait. The vibes. Okay. We're ready for a new game. Excited. Ooh, there's boys. Oh, sexy. Nope, oh, interrupted her. out to get a pack of cigarettes it's voice but acted. I left my wallet at home yeah that's me I'm getting old my name is Sonny Sonny Featherland <laughs> an investigator for 20 years and once the star of the predatory division of the Clawville Police Department one half of the legendary chicken police but buying a pack of smokes is more than I can handle right now. Maybe I should just lay low. Yeah, I'll do that. The most colorful place in the wilderness. For all the gods, what bullshit. The last clucking color left this city years ago. And slowly I'll turn gray too. Oh my god, a chicken with hands! That's creepy. <laughs> Still, what do I expect? We're living in a vast experiment and don't even notice that everything got clucked up a long time ago. We believe in this wonderland of peaceful coexistence. Wolves and sheep, chickens and hounds. Yeah, sure, why not? It's just ridiculous. The dog eats the chicken. It's in our nature. I'm not propping up the illusion anymore. 121 days, and it's over. Retirement. The tropes. What could possibly go wrong? I don't know. Ooh, it's a gazelle. Cleo, tu m'énerves. <laughs> Sorry. There's like half a bagel. That's funny. It's very interesting. My office is like a piece of shit if a dame can take it. Oh my god. She's what? In the, darkness. the light painted stripes on her body. It whispered secret little things that were never there in the first place. But she was no zebra. <laughs> Reality was just a light switch away. Elizabeth or Charlotte? I was sure she'd have a sophisticated sounding name. She had a bygone look in her eyes. Older than this ancient building. And perhaps the whole city itself. Or maybe I'm just drunk. But she was the first womanly thing in my place for a long time. So I had to give her a chance. Womanly thing. Okay. Red flags. But okay. We'll see. The notebook. The notebook is a detective spread to the end. Yeah. Here you gather vital information about the case, the suspects or victims, and the locations of your vi you will visit. How does it work? Click on any text or picture in your notebook to read the translated version in your language. Trans... what? The chicken police, the 
famous detective duo, Santino Sonny, Featherland, and Marty McChicken, <laughs> gained fame through the case that pre the press called the Bloody New Year's Eve. They flew high for almost 10 years when a fateful brawl put an end to the legend. There's a series of novels about them by Meredith H. Marble. They had published 10 books of the course of seven years before the series faded out of public interest. I did, as did the chicken police itself. Clavel's been an independent, independent city-state for more than 900 years. During the city's foundation, four nations had joined forces, represented by the four animal figures and the four hands of the crest of Clavel. In reality, the tribal alliance of the reptile and the great insect clan had also played an essential part in the city's founding, but they never got to be represented on the crest. This gave birth to a political and cultural antagonism between the species. Clavel presented its political autonomy and dreamed that it's, only, it's the only state in the wilderness where predators and prey of any race can live in peace. Hence the name, the city of a thousand colors. Okay. Stats! Oh my god. We'll see. This used to be a light place. Now they were complete competing who gets swallowed by the cave first. The hotel's winning, but honestly, I'm not that far behind. Okay, I don't know where I opened that first. I'm supposed to talk to her, of course. Okay, let's let's just talk to her. Madame Gazelle. Who is this dame anyway? And what the cluck is she doing in my apartment on New Year's Eve? Who knows? That's what we're gonna find out. Let Hi, me girl. Introduce myself. My name is Deborah, Miss Deborah Ibanez. You're mistaken, ma'am. Oh, really? Please enlighten me, Mr. Featherland. I'm not a private eye. I'd recommend Philip. M oh, I mean, Mr. Philmar Lowe instead of me. He's a nice guy. Is this so creepy? Like a ch chicken with hands and that's so weird. Believe me, Mr. Featherland, it's not an accident I came to you. Look, miss, I work for the police and I'm currently on leave. I couldn't accept private commissions even if I wanted to. Not even from a classy dame like you. The word dame, how many times we're gonna Am hear I'm it? Easy to read. Is she reaching in her purse? That's my job. But tell me, since you've invited yourself in, would you like a drink? I don't. I don't usually drink. Well, I've got to have one, and it'd be rude of me to drink alone. So maybe some sherry. If you insist. But bourbon, please. Ah, thank the wild ones. That's all I have. What a coincidence. So come on, spill it from the beginning. Wait, he says no, I don't want to do your thing, and then she says yeah, tell me. Mix signals. It's okay. I'm sorry, I'm too critical. Okay, I'm gonna look around now because they give me books I'm never gonna read. Maybe nobody ever has. I don't see colors anymore. Only emptiness. Everything faded. <sighs> I need another drink. I'm so glad this game is voice acted. I don't even know where the key is. Whatever's inside is gonna stay there forever. Forever. Nine, one, one. Oh, come on! They should have done something with that. I don't even know what 
these papers are. I promised myself I'd write a novel one day. Okay. My wallet and my badge. The wallet is real. The badge. Oh. Aid. Chief Blood Boil took mine. So I got this one out of a pack of cornflakes. Just in case. <laughs> Whatever. My last cigarette. <laughs> You're lucky I don't have a light bell. She doesn't seem so dangerous that I need to grab my gun, but you never know. Good on him. The wild gentleman. Those guys rebuilt the city after the great fire of 867. My heroes when I was a little chick. I'm starting to think they should have left Clawville as it was burned to the ground can i see it it's an owl like some kind of puma and what is that of oh, a fox and i think it's like a rodent of some kind i don't care I don't know. we used to be star cops a few years ago tabloid press radio few. interviews and even a book series i don't miss those days of course marty my old partner would disagree he just loved the spotlight mb davis mm. the eternal king of jazz the photo is from the days of jazz prohibition i only heard the old man live one time but I'll never forget that night. And not only because I woke up at the harbor without my gun, yeah. my badge, and my pants. All right. This is, uh, this is one of the most beautiful memories from my old life. Before Molly left me and took our daughter. Oh, the parakeet is his. his because I saw also that he had a picture of a parakeet in his car I guess that's there his old the good things in wife. life don't last long the best ones always leave first I saw that in the window of a shoe store I never understood it or what it had to do with shoes <laughs> oh that would have helped Miles Davis or whatever. Is that a, so? Is that a mouse or something? I don't. Bedroom door. Not that fast. Behind that door lies the kingdom of dirty clothes, cigarette butts, and empty bottles. Yep. I wanted to travel the world when I was a kid, but I think I'm going to end up dead in here whether I like it or not. Wow. Scary. Okay. I think I looked at everything. I just want to see what I put down on this. Deborah Ibanez. Impala. Okay. Female. Pretty and fragile. Nothing too special. Wow. Wait. She runs errands for her employer, sophisticated lady, but I don't think she's from a particularly wealthy or influential family. Okay. Three gods are revered in most places across the wilderness. They're the great wild ones who make the holy trinity of creation, destruction, and silence. Hariti is the goddess of creation. Tapti is the lord of destruction, and Batiti is the genderless ghost of silence and nothingness, keeping the balance between creation and destruction in their never-ending conflict. Okay. Look at her again. Go on for days. Okay. Deep, dark eyes. 
silky skin and voice. You're in big trouble, pal. He's attracted. That's better. Now, if I understand correctly, your mistress is receiving threats. What kind of threats, exactly? It's a very strange matter. First, there were letters. Hi, man, you okay? Printed on a wine bottle's label, sent as a gift, then carved into a brick, thrown through the window, and finally, they painted it on the wall of the house in giant red letters. Oh, you're welcome. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for coming by. I appreciate it. <laughs> I think it's time to Hope you're doing well. Deeper. If you don't mind, I'd like to ask you some routine questions. Please, that's why I'm here. Yeah, I hope you're doing well. Are you playing uh, Scarlet Violet like everyone else? It seems it looks fun. New function. What? Oh, I forgot to look in my inventory. Of course. Have again. I haven't dusted you off in a while, partner. Looks like I may be needing you now. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're so expensive these days, the video games, <laughs> the triple A's. It's kind of like, yeah, it looks fun. Like, I would love to play it, but it's too expensive. It's fun to watch people play it, though. Oh, man, I totally get you. Ironic, but ever since I've been on furlough, with only my fake badge sitting in my cabinet, I feel more like a cop than I ever had before. More like a Clawville cop, anyway. Okay. Can I question now? Yeah. The victim, a lady, is the target of some strange threats. All of them are written. Okay. Yeah. Oh, really? That's interesting. You like watching games, but you don't, you're not a fan of playing games. That's interesting. I get it. It's just a different feel, for sure. Ooh, what's that? I can speak, look, or question. Can I speak again? So, this is the part where the interrogation comes. <laughs> like in those detective movies. Okay, I get it. I get it. Something like that, Deborah. Yes. Does it say something else? Legs that go on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's good. What do, would you like watching the most? Pokemon? Focus on what you know about the, subs the suspect. Is he or she suspicious? Concentrate on that. Subject John Doe. This fella is rather suspicious. I need to concentrate on that. Focus? Suspicion. <laughs> I think that- oh yeah, that's probably just a tutorial. Impressions. Suspicious. Detective meter. Okay. Psst. Yeah! That's awesome. I love all kinds of games. I'm always playing something different. There are very few games that I replay a ton. Okay, gather impressions from the says every yes, okay. A new impression. Okay. Detective meter is your best friend. It shows how well the questioning is going. Keep it on the positive side, okay? I'll try. Really? I, I like some from time to time I like a good point and click uh, adventure game. Blah 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 blah. I like that. Okay, can we do it for real? Oh my god, that's weird from the front. Shy, which I can use to my advantage, but I must be careful about what I say to her, or I can scare her off. 
Let's start gently, and when the time comes, we can go in hard. <gasps> oh yeah, L.A. Noir. It did give me that feel, like the questioning thing and stuff. It's so creepy, like, usually birds' eyes are on their sides, so <laughs> and here it's like going forward, it's really weird. Okay. Who, okay. I must be cautious and smart. This dame seems shy, which I can use to my advantage, but must be careful about what I say to her. I could scare her off. Let's start gently and then we'll go hard. Okay. Who exactly are you, ma'am? Um, I'm not somebody important. Not somebody important. Hand? Yeah, I know the, w the worst part for me is the, the hands. For some reason. Also, yeah. You're important enough to deal with such a delicate matter, right? I carry out the wishes of my employer, nothing more. This means simple paperwork, most of the time. You've been thrown into deep water, sweetheart. Tell me, can you even swim? Believe me. This is just as unpleasant for me as it is for you, if not even more. Okay. Tell me which part of the city you live in. Doubtful. Tell me, which part of the city do you live in? Calavera Hills? Flowerville, maybe? Look, I... I don't want to answer that. I'm here on behalf of my employer and not on personal business. Fair Alrighty. point, Deborah. Let's try a different approach. Why did you have to visit me this particular evening? I have my reasons. I may look like a silly little fawn, and maybe I am, but I still have common sense. You said, girl. I don't doubt that for a second, Miss Ibanez. Ibanez. This day is essential to my mistress, and she thought it's also important. Oh, I knew it. I heard there was something called like New Year's Eve uh, thingy that he was involved in. So I guess that's also a message in itself, for sure. But to be honest, even you are. You know what? I'll just take that as a compliment. Even if it wasn't meant as such. Do you even know what you want? Frightened. Why did you come to visit me? Why not your employer herself? My employer is Miss Natasha Katsenko. She hasn't been leaving her home lately. Only if she really has to. How so? Kitty! Miss Natasha is afraid. She's scared because of those unwanted messages. And everyone knows who she is. So she's that kind of woman. What? What do you mean? I don't know what you mean. Right? Of course you do, Deborah. No. Thank you, by the way. We're finally getting somewhere. I don't like this the guy, Sonny. We've the point long enough. Deborah's hiding something. She's an no old. Question. Let's focus on that. Old chicken. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> what exactly did you expect by coming here to meet me? I expected your help. Just like my mistress said. Why are you doubting her? That's very nice. But have you seen this neighborhood? Have you seen this wreck called a hotel? Who were you hoping to find in a place like this? Someone reliable. Well, I am reliable. Are you? And discreet. That's right. And thorough. No question about that. And has a heart of gold. Really? Okay, let's stop it right there. Mm. 
We voted to point long enough. Deborah is hiding something, no question. That's she's not hiding anything. She's just just have to get it out of her, I guess. Do you think you're cut out for this kind of work? Just too risky for me to take the case. What? Are you in some sort of jam? Nothing of the sort. There are simply things better left unsaid. Then you're wasting my time. Yeah, like you like I you trust didn't say instincts. anything. You'll manage it. Yeah. And I have no other choice, right? <laughs> to be honest, no, Mr. Vevelin. Not really. What? These questions are so weird. Don't you think this whole thing is a little suspicious? Look, Santino. I'll explain everything. I have no doubt about that. You look just the type, sweetheart. No offense. I'll take that as a compliment. Or maybe I'll act like I haven't heard it. You see, we're starting to understand each other. And I don't like it. <laughs> Just stop bidding around the bush, game. Just tell, tell me. me. Deborah, why should I believe you at all? Because my mistress trusts you. Should that be enough? If you really like what she thinks you are, then yes. Damn, what can I say to that? Look, I didn't mean to back you up against the wall. You have a way with words, sweetheart. Did you ever want to be a cop? No, not for the world. Huh. Smart answer. Be honest and tell me what you're so afraid of. You know, Mr. Featherland, my mistress's partner is Hobart Wessler. Or as most people know him, Ibn Wessler, the kingpin. Exactly. Oh. Feathery gods, help me. Feathery gods. So you get it now. Oh my god. The secrecy. To put it mildly, I think I understand it all. Wessler. This little piece of the puzzle changes everything. Okay. I'm a true detective. Legendary chicken police back in action. Still a bit weary. Or well, wary. But untarnished. Good work. Okay. Now I have a bunch of shit to read. Which I'm happy about. Weirdly enough. The mysterious messenger, Miss Deborah Ibanez, employer, is a certain Miss Natasha Kedzenko. The employer, Natasha's current significant other, is the infamous gangster Ibn Wessler. Ibn Wessler! Okay. What have we learned? Friends Aaron for her employer. She's afraid and she's secretive. Or she's just secretive. And, and an outstanding ad actress. And an actress? Actress. In any case, not everything she told me is true. I'm pretty sure about that. Really? I don't know about that. We'll see. Her employer currently bo bolsters the rank of Eben Wessler, to put it mildly. This explains the cloud of fear surrounding Miss Ibanez. Natasha Kedzenko. She has remarkably green eyes and she's definitely in trouble. So am I. She's the employer of Miss Deborah Ibanez. Allegedly, she's receiving serious threats. Currently, the girlfriend of the notorious gangster Ibn 
Ibn, I don't remember how they say it, Ibn Wessler explains a lot of things, maybe the excessive secrecy. What about this guy? He's a rat. Good looking, charismatic, and a clucking gangster. One of the most well-known gangsters of Clawville. Real estate mogul, bank director, museum owner, distiller, smuggler, and information broker. And that's only the half of what I've heard about him. He has his dirty little paws everywhere in the city's underworld. Alright. Alright. Uh, do you want me to continue talking to her? I don't know. Legs that go okay, we, we got that. Why don't you take it to the police? Just go there and file a report. Photos, flashing lights, fingerprints, you know the drill. The evidence is very clear. Even a moderately talented detective could easily wrap this case up. Or just try the phone. Triple five, triple one. Please, take a look at this. Well, okay. Let's see. That's why I tried 911 earlier on the phone. It didn't do anything. But I'll try triple five, triple one. Let's do it now. I hope I get an achievement for that. Clarville TV, how can I help you? Uh, <laughs> nothing, yeah, forget it. Okay, well, that was useless. What did I just get? Oh! I know Molly very well. Please note this, this when deciding whether or not to accept my assignment. Oh, okay. Molly is his uh, wife that's left. Miss Ibanez is a trusted friend. Tell her, treat her as a gentleman. I know Molly very well. Oh! There's voice Please acting. Note this when deciding whether or not to accept my assignment. Miss Ibanez is a trusted friend. Treat her as gentleman. And I know. No, sh shut up. <laughs> Sorry. Czar Club. Most colorful club of the most colorful city. My city is on fire. Brand new hit from the Queens or the Queen of the Night. Cool. I felt like I'd been hit on the back of my head with a blackjack. Reality tilted. Molly. Good Molly. God. What was her name doing there? I glanced at the opposite wall with the well-worn picture frame. Like an eternally dark a missing piece. She was wearing a light silk dress and singing a lullaby. The waves caressing her beautiful long legs. Why Molly? Why now? Mr. Featherland? <laughs> Santino, are you alright? Why would you use my What person? the hell is this supposed to mean? I don't know anything, Mr. Santino. My mistress told me to give this to you. She said you'd understand. Don't you? Oh, of course I understand, Miss Ibanez. I get it very well. But this case is becoming more and more confusing. It's starting to look like blackmail. Blackmail? Don't play innocent with me. But... All right. When can I visit? Visit? Me? <laughs> Not you, Miss Katsenko. Oh, yes. Hangman! How are you? Hope you're doing good. Are you playing Scarlet Violet? Didn't you tell me she's not the social kind? Hello! That she's especially unsociable? Or does she only like loud and crowded clubs? No, she's really not like that. But... <laughs> owns the place. Me neither, you can see. Judging by the flyer, it must be a very busy club, especially on New Year's Eve, right? 
I'm sure you'll have no trouble finding Miss Katsenko, but there's one small problem, Mr. Featherland. Let me guess. Mr. Wessler better not know about my visit. Oh. Exactly. How did you know? 20 years experience, ma'am. Oh, and please, call me Sonny. <laughs> it was a pleasure to meet you, Mr. I mean, Sonny. Sonny? I'll talk about the rest with Ms. Katsenko in person. A good friend of mine would be happy to take you home if you'd like. I'd appreciate that, Sonny. I would feel very uncomfortable calling him Sonny. What is all this? I have to what look at it all. I'll find Natasha at this... How do you... Tsar? Club? Is that how you pronounce this? <sighs> yeah, same. I don't even know what the Max Lair is, but yeah, I've been watching people play it and it's fun to watch, but I'm not gonna get it. Maybe? I don't know how you say it. I think it's like Tsar. Or Char? Something like that. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna get it either, but it, yeah. Hi, sweetie! <laughs> or X's, either. That's funny. Look at this handsome mod. How are you, baby? Tasha must know my wife Molly from somewhere. Or perhaps she has very good informants. I must find out what the connection is. Pipple! People. What do we know? She owns the SAR club. Lewis. Who's that? Lewis Hayworth. Rabbit. Male. An old friend of mine. He's stuttering heavily when he talks. Alright. Louis is the owner of the once reputable Atlas Hotel and a good old friend of mine. At the moment, he's my landlord. It's only the two of us living in this unbelievable, enormous hotel. He's crazy about detective stories and he will gladly help me whenever I ask him. Louis number is 555932. The water bottle incident. What are you talking about, sweetie? <laughs> Anyways. Places. Tsar Club. One of the most famous nightclubs in the city. Owners of the juiciest booties and hardest fists frequent the place. And it's famous for not serving cops. Especially, except if they're knee deep in the dirt. Oh, my oh God, bitch! Thank you. Hmm. I don't know. Should I? Should I not? I wish I had a pain au chocolat myself. <laughs> Bash! <laughs> well. Wait, 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 Cleo, 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 I don't know how you, oh, fuck, I hope that works, shit, <laughs> should have just done that, come on, show me my emotes, what does it work, anyways, Cleo, you Maybe like this? Probably like this. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, nothing works. Fuck! <laughs> oh, it's in capital letters. Okay, whatever. Cleo! Come on. Mm. 
No, because it didn't it didn't it didn't wanna appear when I used it. I guess I could have done it. No, it doesn't work. For some reason. I'm in my in I'm in OBS. Yeah. And it doesn't work when you dub like whatever the coma the coma no the Shmini It's very cuddly. Okay. <laughs> you broke the algorithm. Okay, do I keep talking to her? Thank I don't think you again, Mr. Feather I mean Sunny. Don't mention it, Deborah. I had no other plans for today except drink. But tell me, do you have a light? Depends on the emote. I used to type them. But now I use the semicolon. Is that what you call it? Yeah, it's much easier with the semicolon. Also on mobile, sometimes your the emotes like get like your phone remembers it, so it's easier. <laughs> Happy pain au chocolat, by the way. I hope you enjoy it. Even though, is that the same that you brought us when we came? I did! <laughs> I thought I did. I, it was, oh no, wait. Read this message and I'll eat a pain au chocolat. A pain of chocolat. <laughs> I mean, you know where to get the good stuff. Just have to come over. What? You just have to come here in, in France, is what I mean. Sometimes my words just don't. How are you doing, by the way, Bash? Are you getting better? Hope, hope you are. I'm sorry, I, I don't smoke. I don't mean to say those things. I'm sorry. Thought so. This cat. Oh fuck. Oh yeah, that's that's if I remember correctly, ears infections are awful. There's nothing you can do to make them feel better. Okay, do I just... My bedroom. What do I do now? Can't I, like, leave? What's this? Oh, okay. Cheap whiskey. I didn't look Every at that. Every whiskey has the same color nowadays. Hi. At least in this price range. I can't see anything because she's in front of me. Okay. Yeah, I hope so too because it sounds miserable. She doesn't. I. Ugh. I thought she would like run away and stop being all over me, but I guess that doesn't work. Cat hair everywhere. Okay, what do I do now? Can I like leave the room or something? Maybe in another lifetime, old bird. I thought you said, I want a mute husband, which, I mean, 
whatever suit. I mean, I don't know. Can we Just move on? Call and a good friend of mine oh, okay, yeah. You home. I get it Thank now. Thank you, Sunny. <laughs> okay, where was the number again? Five 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 nine three two. No, I fucked up. We used to have a phone like this at Villers, my where my hey, family Lewis. home Am I bothering you? on the coast. We literally had a rotary phone. Favor to ask if you're not busy. For you, anything, just a minute. Lewis oh, there he is. a few minutes later. He lived in the rooms above, so it wasn't difficult getting here. Not to mention that he's almost poked my eye out. A quick hop. The he had a big hop. hotel was his inheritance. It was once a well renowned place, but not anymore. The last economic crisis ruined it, and now, besides me, he was the only resident of this. Why, place. though? Why wouldn't you? He would make so much money. Okay, let's talk to Lewis. Let's look at him the first. The good old rabbit. I can always count on him, even on New Year's Eve. What is it, Bash? Tell us. We're, yeah, and? <laughs> Hi, Jen! <laughs> it seems uncharacteristic of you, Bash. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Jen. I watched, uh, I watched you play we watched you play um, Minish Cap with uh, Thirst earlier, like yesterday, I think. <laughs> okay, Lewis. Thanks for being so quick, Lewis. Can you drive Miss Ibanez home? I have some things to take care of. Thank you for being so considerate, Sonny. I appreciate it. Don't mention it. Goodbye, then. Goodbye, then. So long, Deborah. Before I visit the club, I have to take a detour. I've got a feeling that this case isn't going to be a one-man job. And there's only one bird in the city I can trust. My ex-partner, Marty. He's going to be at the station. I can only hope he'll be willing to talk to me. Ooh. Okay. Oh, now I can move around, I guess. First, Claville Police Station. The HQ of the department, aka the Meat Grinder. A huge dark building for shady people. And I don't necessarily mean those who are sitting in the jail. Oh, damn! Some dirty cops in here. Scene types. Main scenes. Move the story forward. Okay, limited scenes. Ooh, that's interesting. I will visit all of them. Close scene. Close scene cannot be reached for the time being. State will often change throughout the story. Progression and get can be temporary or permanent. Top tip! 
pick the next main scene if you're absolutely sure you don't want to visit any other available limited scene anymore. What? Refreshing our fake fishing tests? What, is, what does that mean? Oh, I can only go to the police department for now. Thanks everyone for being here. I appreciate you. Half drunk? Half drunk? My whole life's work. But still, it didn't feel any different. Every mm. day was the same. And the 121 Don't drink and days drive. I left till my retirement seemed like an eternity. When I look out the window of the hotel room I call home, I see the same thing every day. A woman in a red nightgown dances slowly in circles to smooth music. The nine o'clock show. Weird. With a glass of cheap bourbon and the red gown with the silent music. You in creepo. The, meantime, the proud city of Clawville is slowly eating itself alive. And we're still here, with nothing left to lose but our sanity. While others, the smart ones, had already gone. Ooh, Bash, that's... Does her name really upset me this much? Isn't that illegal? <laughs> solitude, and I Look, the eyes! Uh, they're, they're supposed to be on the I sides when... For birds, not on the front. Marty, it's so weird. My ex-partner who hates me, but I know I have to speak with him, no matter what. Why do I feel like the past is watching me on this goddamn night? So what's in the? I don't get it. What's in the email? I knew where to find Marty. At the station, we'd always draw straws about holiday duty. Marty never joined in. He always took the New Year's Eve shift, even though he had someone to go home to. I understood. Yes. Ten years ago, we survived a night the press called the Bloody New Year. Forgotten by Clawville, but not by us. We both left parts of ourselves behind that night. Yeah, this is this is a weird game. But, you know. Oh. It's okay, I get it. It's to like <clears throat> make sure people like to tell people like don't click anything you find, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. I see. I thought it was like to like catch people that would like do other stuff during their work hour but i guess not Ooh, look at the porcupines squad car police station phyllis and roy oh two hedgehogs no these are porcupines not hedgehogs tops. they're as prickly as they look officious little shitheads but harmless I see, I see. For the crown, for the king. Oh, the, of course, the king is a lion. We need you, citizen. Serve and protect. Every time this poster disappears, good old blood boil puts it right back immediately. I tore it down at least three <laughs> times already. Actually, it's a kind of passive aggressive game for us with the chief. I mean, Germ it's another case of Germany is known for their soccer, Japan is not, so they're probably gonna win. It's like France beat Australia 4-1, to one. but that was expected, because Australia is not known for soccer, right? France is. Police crest! Back in the day, I used to patrol the city streets in one of these. I don't miss it, but 
It used to have its advantages. <laughs> were you are you were you rooting for um, Argentina, Nani? <laughs> we're known for a lot of things, Bash. Lots of things. Okay, let's get in. Back into the lion's den. But to be honest, lions don't come all the way down here these days. And pointy towers. <laughs> I guess. Let me get in. Take a deep breath, Sonny, and turn on the bullshit counter. I mean just take a deep breath, Sonny, and no, turn on the bullshit counter. No no comment. No comment. It's in the times. Harry, like, now women are like, fuck you. If I want to have hair, I have hair, okay? And you have to deal with it, okay? <laughs> what? How, how do I get in? Just take a deep breath. What the fuck? Just take it. Just take it. Oh, I didn't talk to them. I'm well, stupid. Hey, Sonny. What you scratching out over here? I heard the big boss threw you out. Tough luck, boys. Oh, yeah, that's I'm a hedgehog. That's a porcupine. still a cop. Just like you. Hey, you don't have to be so peckish, old bud. By the way, you're on luck. Blood boils not in tonight. The lawyer's in charge. The accent. Oh, God. That clumsy buffalo is here tonight. <clears throat> if he doesn't end up in a cell again, he's lucky. The hands with the chicken face. It's so weird. At least these have, like, little paws from, like, normal little paws. <laughs> you got it. <clears throat> you got it. You're looking for Marty, eh? I see you're still the brains around here, Phyllis. Yeah. I'm looking for Marty. Birds of a feather flock together. I see you're still the funny guy around here. You'll find the giant feather <clears> dust <throat> in the shooting range, as always. Hey, boys. I'm telling you this because maybe you'll be able to understand. If this prickly shithead makes another racist remark, I'll strangle him with his own raincoat. Okay. Where, who are you we talking about? I'd love to see that. Hey, whose side are you on, you jerk? You jerk. Okay, I have to read the new stuff. I'm I'm addicted to it. So we have Roy and Phyllis. Phyllis. I hate him, is it his feature? Oh, there it is, Porcupine. I hate him almost as much as I hate his partner. A real little ass plug? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. He's too small of a fish in the ocean to be worth bribing. Ass plug. <laughs> Big and dumb, it resembled my partner, Marty, a little, except that Royce doesn't have a kind heart. Uh, I guess we're talking to the... Uh, we talk to the uh, ass plugs now? Can I, can I go in? I can go in, yes. Here we are again, Clawville Police Department. I've never been I love weird history, games, Ash. But if I'm not mistaken, this place has been a church, a hospital, and even some insane cult secret hideout over the years. Anyway, the place holds the secrets of the ages, and some drunk pigs in the basement. I, but I, there are something I'm, I'm like kind of uh, about, but. Overall, it's fine for now. I do. I always read it, Jen. 
Every t every time you post something on Bash's server, I do read it. I like weird people too. <laughs> okay, let's look around. Shooting range, that's where our friend is. Our friend. All it takes is one look, and my comb starts to tingle, which never means anything good. All it takes is one look. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Honor, strength, unity. <laughs> For the love of the wild gods, I'm gonna be sick. I thought it said <laughs> by the by the one of these but, target practice once. I thought it said by the start. name of the wild goose. Too damn drunk. <laughs> Anyways. Um Officer Jardine. Officer Jardine. They say she's clever, smart, and dangerous. We need more of her kind in here. Yeah. One of Blood Boil's favorites. Mainly because he's a dog, of course. One of Blood Boil. Okay, but maybe that would be either Bosco and Mort. Marty drinks this shit. I've never tried it, but I'm pretty sure it's gross and probably toxic. <laughs> Clearly sharp. Can't follow your brain, it's too fast. Oh, what's that? I can pick up something here. Ooh, Bell of the Pentares. <laughs> Pentares. Chicken Pulley Story. Mervis Marble. Ready? <laughs> Yes! Always on point with the quotes, sweetie. Monica! Okay, I'm talking to everyone. First with Monica. Monica Rosen. Receptionist in theory, but in reality, she's doing literally everything around here. Like the beating heart of the TV. <laughs> she's too good for this place. Even for this city. Yes! Hey, Monica. Oh, look, it's a hummingbird. She's huge, though. Hey, boss bird. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be celebrating somewhere? <laughs> Every day's a holiday since I got out of here. I can tell. But what are you doing here? Are you here for a file? You know, I'm a little busy right now. The hands, it's the hands for me. <sighs> so weird. Yeah, you could look after a few things for me, but first I'd like to talk to Mr. Big Beak McChicken himself. Those That's his actual name, by the way. Told me Mac Chicken. The magazines in the hole. <laughs> like always. And if he carries on like that, he's gonna use up all our ammo. So it would be nice if you drag him out of there. You know how this day is for him. <laughs> For him. Well, at me. Yeah, I know. We'll know. We'll we'll find out what happened on that New Year's blood okay. story, whatever. Good to go. Thank you, darling. Darling. Don't mention it, boss bird. Boss bird. Okay, I have to. I have to read these things. So many things on new people. Okay, no, I'll I'll do this uh, when I talk to everyone. Another police crest. Shush, vending machine. That's all. Huh? Mort. Mort Mardigan, a notorious deadbeat. Poor guy's been blind since his teenage years, but that doesn't stop him from running into trouble. What the cluck did he do this time? Oh, he's being arrested. I thought that was like an old detective. I don't know. Mort, you scabbiest beast. What the hell did you do? It's Morty to you, sunny boy. Everything's fine. There was just a bit of trouble in the bar and someone got knocked on the head with a glass. It 
wasn't my fault. I I'm ass. I'm ass blind. <laughs> Did that ever bother you, Morty? Listen, sonny boy. Go tell them to leave me alone, eh? It's New Year's Eve, after all, and I didn't even do anything wrong. Not that wrong. Scabious. Where's your little lapdog to get you out of this mess? Is that little pimp of a midget still sniffing around you? Uh, Jeff is a good boy, Jeff. And he's good to me, believe me. I believe it. Oh God, spare me the details. When will you finally realize that little shit's been using you? It's really weird, like a to see a reptile, reptile with like <laughs> a beard and eyebrows. Oh, of course, he's using me. <laughs> what could a pretty boy like him want from this old monster? Oh, that's so sad. Good luck, uh, doctor, sweetie. Thank you. Even you deserve better, pal. By the way, you look horrible, even for yourself. Are you feeling okay? Well, I'm not what I used to be. But neither are you, judging from your voice. But I'm seeing a doctor, sonny boy. I really am. Are you? Don't need to, Mort. I'm fine. Anyway, if Bubo prescribed you something, don't even think about taking it. <sighs> I don't talk oh, that insane new person. Owl. Insane owl? Damn right. Please, say something on my behalf, okay? I really don't have time for this buffalo sheet sheet <laughs> hey careful with that buffalo malloy is the chief today <laughs> bullshit because he's a bull huh. i'll try to speak for you but keep it down till then okay you don't need this shit and i don't need it either sunny boy you've always been a good friend thanks <laughs> More like a clucking pigeon. <laughs> More like a clucking pigeon. It's okay. We all make mistakes sometimes. Bosco! Detective Chow Hound Bosco. He thinks he's a real alpha. But nah. <laughs> He's just a lapdog. Holy wild ones. Look what the cat dragged in. I wonder who she's talking about. Sorry, who they are talking about. Huh? Bash? Hello to you too, Bosco. I see you're busy as always. Eh, I've been sniffing around one of the rundown joints. You know how it goes. <laughs> And boom, this son of a lizard comes flying out the window. I didn't know the lizards <laughs> could fly. <laughs> so, whoever boy, they are. A bad, bad boy again. Wait, I haven't been That's listening. Unusual. I've been sniffing around the room. And you? Still dying? I'm still a cop for another 121 days, <laughs> Bosco. It's as unpleasant to me as it is to you. All right, all right. No need to bite. I wasn't trying to mess with you. You have Moses and Plato for that. And of course, blood boil. Let's hope I won't run into any of them tonight. Looking for Marty, eh? Ever since you left, he's kind of lost. He's trying to hide it, but he's not the same bird. I'm busy getting stitches. Well, I don't think we'll have a teary reunion thinking about how we parted. Let me give you some advice, Sonny. Let him rage. He'll be the same after that. Anyway, he was the one that shot Oh, you, right? we're learning things. Mad, not him. 
It's not that simple, Bosco. But we'll see how he reacts. Thanks anyway. No worries, pal. Pal. So many new things. I'm really not in the mood to meet Deputy Malloy or any of my ex-colleagues from the Predatory Division. Let's see what we learn about people. Oh, also Codex. Moses and Plato. Moses is a Tibetan sand fox and Plato is a palace cat. They're old rivals of Sonny and Marty, currently working at the Clawville PD's Homicide Division. Okay. Ooh. I like that when you haven't met them in person, they're like drawings. And when you meet them, they're like more like pictures. That's cool. Okay, Bosco, what do we say about him? They say he is able to devour anything that crosses his path. That's why he got the nickname Chow Hound. <laughs> The active is Boscorelli, alias Bosco, alias Bosco. He works in the predatory, predatory division, as do I. Or as I used to do, to be more precise. Hummingbird! She can watch over thousands of things at once, and she's an angel. The soul and heart of the police department. She's a hummingbird in theory, but many say she's a real angel who fell from the sky. When I used to come to the station daily, her presence with the sugar in my bitter morning coffee. Mm. Marty! Oh no. Mort. Morty. He's an old and blind and an unrepairable wreck. A light fingered bastard. He's a blind as bad he's blind as a bat, but also one of the biggest scoundrels in the city the city has ever seen. He could have been a good guy, but got lost somewhere halfway and now he's too old too old to save himself. They talk like they were friends more like, but I guess Yeah, I see what they're going for, but there was some fight at the club with Mort was at. What a surprise. He's an old friend, so I can put in a good word for him. So yeah, they're friends. Oh my god, Vash. Good luck. The chief is a real legend. He also hates me. Blood boil. Look at the little hand. Dainty little hand. Anyways. Uh, eagle owl. More finished, neurotic, old, and ugly. Well, that's mean. But he's an old friend from the golden days of the chicken police. That's how you talk about your friends? Damn. Okay, we're gonna meet our friend Marty McChicken. Is it Marty McChicken? This is gonna be a hard ride. Last time we saw each other, he had a smoking gun in his hand and I was bleeding. I don't know how we can get past that, but it's worth a try. Marty? Oh my god. Keep your gun clean, Mr. Lawman. I hate that. Uh, please? Can we... Okay. Long thighs and a big gun. That's Marty's idea of a perfect woman. <laughs> Can't blame him for it. Okay. Hey, you! If you let the... Com the ammunition boxes open again, I'll kick you your clucking ass! Sign Marty. Okay, Cleo! Cleo! I don't want to exit. Is there anything else? Shooting practice. I was just about to go when you came in, so if you want shooting practice, maybe turn on the lights first. You're right. I'm gonna do that. I was just looking. Kete! Say hello to Jen, baby Cleo. 
me, muting me all the time. Libisha. Okay, I'll do that, but I want to look around first. Nothing to look at Marty. Marty looks good. Big and loud and angry as always. <laughs> okay. Am I going to have... Oh my god! What? Cleo, I will need to see the, the screen for that. I'm kind of scared. No. Start? Oh my god, I'm going to suck at this. Oh. Fuck. I didn't know I had to reload, okay? Oh, fuck! It's too hard. Oh my god. I want... I'm gonna... They're gonna... Shut the poor old dude. Oh my god. 10,000? Do I get more points for shooting the head or no? No! I shot over her shoulder. Can I... Get a hint, what do you mean? Oh, oh no. Shooting enemies increase your points or remain. It's all up to you, choose wisely. But even faster. Oh, that's not what I want to do at all. Oh my god. I suck at this. I suck at this very badly. No, I didn't mean to. <laughs> Fuck. I, she is precious. She's also sometimes a bit overwhelming by her presence. <laughs> but, you know. Dum, 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 dum. Okay, Marty. Let's talk. Hey, oh, well, look who's here. Hello, boss bird. What, are you lost? This is the PD building, you know? Cut this shit, Marty. We're better than this. Well, at least you are. Better than anyone, huh? Marty, come on. Let's forget that. What's past is past. I want to know, though. Yeah, easy for you to say, Sonny. Well, you didn't get shot by your partner. Damn it, Marty. You shot me, remember? I almost bled to death. Hell yeah, I remember. Unfortunately, my aim wasn't Jeez. good enough. I need your help, okay? That's what you want to hear. Well, it's a start. Okay, I've said it. I won't do it again. Do what? <laughs> yeah, right. So, are you in? Just for tonight. Small case. We'll wrap it up in no time. Uh, what kind of case? A personal one. How personal? Very. The kind of case where if you come with me right now, you're not on duty anymore. Ooh, damn, Sonny. Stop it right there. I'm in. That's, okay. That's it? Uh, do you know how boring life is here without your stupid reckless shit soon enough i'll shoot all the ammo in here out of boredom right so tell me what's it about i'll tell you in the car Ooh, can i bring bertha who's bertha oh is that his gun ah for the love of marty this is a routine case you oh my bring God. your shotgun okay bertha stays your <laughs> shotgun okay okay but at least Susie can come right uh, all right, Susie can come. 
Silly. That's what I want to hear. Mm Unusual height and weight for a fowl. Shining white feathers. He shot me once and I deserved it. Okay. We've been partner for almost 10 years, 10 long, hard years. Well, we were because now he's only helping me unofficially until I wrap up this case. Marty is a hothead with a hard fist, but he's loyal until the end and I can count on him in every way, especially if guns are in the picture. That's when he reveals his true self and that's when I don't ever want to get in his way. Not anymore, at least. Okay, are we ready to go? Are we ready? Hey Marty, what about Laura? How come she didn't eat you yet? What? Yeah, very funny. <gasps> We're good, by the way. Mostly. As good as we can be after all these years. Glad to hear it. She asks a lot about you. Really? Yeah. She always hated you for getting me into trouble all the time. Understandable. But she also felt sorry for you. Okay, I want to talk to people more because oh, well, there's more better. info to have. If I'm honest with you, she loved the chicken police, Marty, better than this one. Well, I think I'll take that as a compliment. Whatever, Sonny. Whatever, Sonny. Who's that new person? Uh, wait, what? Oh, I thought I would see his fiance. Okay. Marty's fiance is Laura, a beautiful, warm hearted predator. I don't know what she sees in Marty, but she he is da too damn lucky to have such a woman for him. You're jealous. Marty deserves love. Okay. Do you have anything else to say? So, uh, Sonny, you still limping? The pellets tore my right hip to pieces. So, yes. The doctor says oh. I'll limp forever. Ah, good to hear that. Fuck off. Fuck off! I thought they said clock instead of fuck. Can we go finally, or are you waiting for a big warm hug? Yes, please. Let's get out of here before I get detained for gutting you. Ah, lovely and peaceful as always. Welcome back, boss bird. I think that's the last of the dialogue, right? To check. Can we go finally? No, okay, okay, blah, 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 blah. Still drink coffee? Yeah, my only poison. Except for guns, of course. And women. We could visit our old haunt. What do you think? Okay. Good luck, Bash. Hope it's nothing bad. <laughs> Nice cup of Zips coffee in the hop dog. I'm in the in. hop dog. Ooh, and maybe we'll get into a little fight too, huh? If it comes to that, I'm leaving you without a blink. Well, yeah, like last time. Those were uh, different times, Marty, with a different Sonny. Uh, well, all right. To the city then. <laughs> You're not getting fired, you silly. You just got promoted or something. <laughs> you don't have to come with me, you know. Okay, okay, I know. Let's go. What the fuck? What is this? I don't get what that is. Looks weird. I don't think... Anyways. Ah, Sonny, there's a little problem. Mm-hmm. Not so little, and it smells, too. What the furry hell is Blood Boil doing here? Ah, uh, well, uh -oh. it seems we can't avoid speaking to him. Oh, yes, we can. You have your rifle with you, right? What? <laughs> Just kidding. Sort of. Oh, here he is. <laughs> Look at that guy. I love it. People. Zip. An old enemy who became a good friend over the years. Oh, 
Hop Dog. The place is famous for its exceptional coffee and the exceptionally frequent whims that takes place around that take place around there. Around it, well, it's not an assurance of life operating any joint outside of Roachtown. Okay. Want to do this guy first? Slumped, buddy. I've sent the old lizard away. I don't need him to foul the air anymore. I hate his kind anyway. Oh wow! Well, because he's a reptile. No, because he's a good-for-nothing piece of shit. <laughs> Look at the hair coming out of the. <laughs> that's silly. Oh yeah, that's true. Oh yeah. And you, you letting off some steam? Something like that. We'll go and check out some CD joint. We're cops after all, ain't we? And this is still Clawville. That's true, pal. Protect and serve. Mm-hmm. Get a room, you two. Ah, shut up, Marty. Shut up. Do you have anything else to say? I see blood boils here. We're in deep guano for sure, Marty. Isn't it your lucky day, huh? Are you thinking about some stupid shit again? We? Excuse me, sir, but what do you mean? Great wilderness. Just keep a low profile, will ya? It's New Year's Eve. We have enough dangerous lunatics running around already. Don't worry, child hound. We know what we're doing. Yeah, of course you do. That's what I'm afraid of. Is there anything else? Hey, listen, Bosco. I wanted to ask you this for so long. Oh my god. Pet you? Just a little. One more word, and I'll bite off your arm. Oh, hey, hey, easy. I'm just kidding. Guys, I'm really gonna miss this when I retire. Alrighty, what do you have to say, Monica? We're leaving, sweetheart. Don't call me sweetheart. Be safe, boys. I'm glad to see you two together again. I'm afraid you're alone with that. Hey, don't make me change my mind. You won't, Marty. I bet you can't wait to get mixed up in some serious trouble again. Yep, that's true. I'm yeah, serious, that's boys. true. Be careful out there. We're big birds, Monica. We can take care of ourselves. Mostly. Okay, but take care of each other, too. Will do, Monica. Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna exhaust hey, every Remember dialogue. The invitation from the other day? Oh yeah, I'm so sorry, Marty. I'd love to, but I've got a lot of work to do. You know how it is. Please tell your sweetheart that I'm sorry. I feel like her her accent is not strong enough, though. Okay, okay, I understand. No problem. We'll meet at the annual party anyway, right? Yeah, that's true. I'll tell Laura. I have a strange feeling that we'll meet again tonight. Strange. Foreshadowing. I have that feeling too. Ooh, she's gonna be. What if she's a bad guy in reality? That's oh my weird. god. I was just thinking the same thing. That would be so interesting. I have a strange. Okay. That's weird. I've exhausted Bosco. Let's talk to Blood Boil, I guess. I'm gonna look at him Chief first. Doesn't seem to be in a good mood, but he never is actually. Dun, 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 what a surprise! Dun, dun. The two pigeons back together, and without my permission, of course. Chief Blood Boil. Damn. Damn. What was that, Santino? Nothing, sir. What a lovely evening. Am I right? I don't want to hear your crowing, Santino. What the hell are you doing here? Hey, 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 careful with the racist barking, old hound. What? What did he say? Oh, oh it's getting hot in here. Can we just skip this part? It's New Year's after did all. Did I miss it? And you're on duty, if I'm not mistaken, Martin. Where do you think you're going? That's it, boss. To serve and protect. Sonny was in the neighborhood and stopped by to say hi. He's a cop too, right? Only on paper, and you know that very well, detective. 
I don't want any trouble, boss. I just wanted to say hi to Monica, and then this feather pillow showed up. I invited him to grab a quick coffee. You can allow him that much, can't you? Your coffee breaks usually end up in shooting or brawling, chickens. Oh, just a coffee, boss, I swear. Oh, have a heart. It's New Year's Eve, and I haven't seen my old partner for so long. How touching. You shot him with a, with a shotgun? shotgun? Jeez. Family quarrel. For all the marrow bones of the world, get the mm. hell out of my sight. Have mm -hmm. a mm -hmm. evening, boss. You especially. Fuck off right now, mm -hmm. Santino. What is it, Santino? N nothing, sir. And you need something, Martin? No, sir. Then get out of my sight, birds. I'm guessing that's the, all I'm gonna get. Yeah. I could. Why can I ask things? Ooh. What have you heard about the hop dog? Is it still standing? Yeah, it is. But I don't frequent that neighborhood. You shouldn't either. Things have escalated there recently. What do you know about Ibn Wesler? What's Ibn. What's rat been up to lately? They say he's keeping a pretty low profile these days. But he's been seen in the company of the Attorney General. Attorney General Hamtaro. Eh? Hamtaro? Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Thanks. Why are you so um... interested in that rat? If you want another hole in your comb, I could help you too, you know. It's just professional uh -huh. curiosity. Yeah, of course. And I'm a fluffy little Labrador. Whoa, 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 you forgot to mention this nugget about the case, Sonny. Ooh. Ibn Clucking Wessler? What the hell did you get into? As far as I remember, you didn't let me tell you in the first place. Well, you're in now. No way back. <laughs> no taxis, backsies. You're a piece of shit, Sonny, you hear me? What's this all about? Easy, chicken. I'll tell you everything soon enough. Let's just get the hell out of here first. Uh, if I already told you it's a pleasure working with you again? No, but that's always good to hear, partner. Tch, cluck off. Why is it so quiet in here? Shouldn't it be a madhouse by now? The midnight <laughs> madness is yet to come, Sonny. Just wait for it. My time's too valuable for that, pal. And you're trespassing. Rules of suspension, remember? I can see you're up to no good. Who, us? Ridiculous. <laughs> if you say so. But I advise you to keep it low. Especially you, Sonny. How many days do you have until retirement? 121. 120 soon. Don't be a knucklehead and get yourself fired. Thanks for your eternal wisdom, Bosco. I'm definitely coming to you again next time. Alrighty. Can I ask her a question? No. Okay. I think that's it for now. Let's read all the new stuff about people and places and codex. Blood boil. Chief also hates me. He is my boss in the living statue of justice. He's tough, ruthless, and above all, unbribable. And of course, he's a racist bastard. But still, I don't want to be here when he retires to witness how chaos devours Clawville for good. All right. Wait, what am I missing? Oh, that's it? Thought there would be another one. Okay, places. The place is famous for its exceptional... Wait, didn't we just read that? Juiciest booties. <laughs> Altera. The two-headed continent Altera may only be the second biggest in the three continents of the wilderness, but it is the home of the most advanced and most influential states of the world. Like Nautica, the Stoas Sardom, Aviraya, 
Velezia and Swolaso. Lavoslavia or the Front Empire and of course Clawville, the city of a thousand colors. Jeez. Hey sweetie, are you at the doctors? Creep. We have a new one. Ooh, the Hive, Roachtown, Cobbler District. The Cobbler District, also known as the Hive or Roachtown, was once part of the city, but then became a wa walled off ghetto, where 90% of the city's insect population is forced to live. Currently, the biggest threat to the city are the riots in the Hive that have almost driven the city state to the brink of civil war multiple times already. Sweetie, what are you doing? Stop it right now. No driving and looking at Twitch. You can listen, I guess, but don't stop typing. <laughs> okay. New places. Ooh, timed. Only t timed event. Ooh, there are two. So if I want to advance the story, I go here. If I want to, like, side stuff. I go here, which I do. Hop dog. The hop dog was like the last warning. You can still turn back. My eyes lingered on the sign. An enormous dog. Like a neon god with limitless power over cheap hot dogs, plastic hamburgers, and watered down coffee. The cold light called me, but I didn't want to get out of the car. If we went in, we were all going to be pancakes, kept together by cold syrup. <laughs> Marty's worried look shook me out of my reverie. Oh, cluck. Was I talking oh, to myself Cleo. again? Cleo, 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 Cleo. <laughs> Mwah! Mwah! You, oh, okay. She doesn't know. She doesn't know what to do. Are you cuddling? Are you attacking me? <clears throat> we don't know. I love you, though. Okay. The hive. There used to be such life around here before it became an insect ghetto. That was a very long time ago, Marty. I was a little chick, and the hop dog had the best pancakes in the entire city. <gasps> pancakes! Well, since Zip became the owner, the cook, and the waitress, I imagine it's all gone downhill. Oh, that's what Zip is doing. True. Oh, yeah, but we're friends with him. Used the coffee's good. Damn fine coffee. That's right. I have no idea what that mongrel's doing with it. And I don't want to know, but its aroma is unbeatable. When uh, Arthur Thirst comes here on the 6th of December, the first thing we're doing is going to get the pancakes. We had, like, when he, just before he left last time. They were amazing. No idea what that mongrel's doing. I, I th um, there were pancakes or uh, French toast. They're both amazing. Like with chocolate and banana and hazelnuts and Nutella and some maple syrup. All the good things. Uh, what mongrel's doing? Ah! Good time for Cleo. At least she's not in my in my hair in the meantime. Because mm, the whole town's probably drunk by now. Maybe that's the only way it can bear itself. Doesn't it remind you of someone? Shut up, Marty. <laughs> Shut up, Marty. Does it give Even different? A mess, I still. You know what? I envy you. There's more dialogue when you click more. Even though it's a mess, you know what? Roach town. Hey, don't call it that. It's not okay. Whatever happened here, it's still the cobbler district. 
Old memories. We used to live here a while with my mother. There used to be a small ice cream shop around here and a baker. The whole area smelled like fresh bread. It smelled like home. How could we turn it into a slum? Good question. Let's pray to the gods we'll never have to work here again. Do you remember that case? With that fly? So much dialogue. In the exposition. Or... How could I ever forget that? Like learning more about That's stuff. Great. <laughs> great. Okay. Old car. Did this wreck belonged to Zip? Well, it's a wreck just like him. So I guess it's Damn, good. shots fired! It's sad that everything's rotting away. It is. Especially a beauty like that. I love the pointings. Yeah. Once this broken down old car was new and shiny. Am I a broken down old car too? Oh, Jen! I heard it's your birthday soon, isn't it? When is that? Is it today? The god of pancakes. Are you getting pancakes for your birthday? Are you sure that thing's a dog? <gasps> I always wondered. If I don't talk to you before then, happy birthday. The big foro? No way. I don't believe ya. is quite a giveaway don't you think so mr detective sometimes the most natural connections lead us astray who said that a natural born genius yes <laughs> no one ever believes you <laughs> well that's that's a big uh, my my brother-in-law is gonna be 40 this like next year and uh, yeah, I don't know why I said that. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. That sign gives me the creeps. I mean, forty is still not. To me, is not like. It didn't phase me to turn thirty. And I still think that 40 is not that old. Also, it's just <clears throat> just a different part of life. And no one wants to be 20 forever. Like, to me, that was my worst years. <clears throat> no one else. <clears throat> but yeah. I'm not surprised. That sign gives me the creeps. Yeah. Exactly, you're leveling up. I'm not surprised. Doesn't have to change anything. You're still the same same person. Maybe like society expects maybe a little bit more of you, but who cares? Fuck society. <laughs> that sign. I'm not surprised. Okay. Wait, was there something else I could touch, look at? We don't serve bugs. Oh my god. Okay, so that's where the oh, that's furry. So that's where the racism comes. Is this still a thing? The situation's getting even worse, Marty. Have you heard how the young mothers of the cobbler district are forced to make a living i have no idea what goes on in the hive sonny i don't think i want to know but you're still gonna tell me right yeah yep i feel you i feel you Same here. I mean, I'm not a poet. <laughs> that sounds cool. Like, if I was an artist or something, maybe that would justify it, but... <laughs> I'm just... Oh, whatever. 
I don't think I want to know. Prostitution is the lesser evil. What's worse is that some folks. Oh no! Shh, 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 shh. Nope. Don't want to hear about it. What? Why? They pay a hefty sum for each. Nope. 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 They sell them as gourmet food in the most expensive restaurants. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. What the fuck? We made this city, Marty. Clawville didn't do this to itself. Don't ever forget that. Jesus. Jesus. <gasps> yes! Enjoy! <laughs> Zip is a tricky little son of a bitch. He always has been. But seeing this, I didn't know him to be like this. Me neither, Marty. But maybe this neighborhood changed him. Or the city. Yeah, maybe. This makes the bile rise in my water. Yeah, me too. Okay. Nothing else? I want to talk to the fly guy. Oh, that's an, a bug, an insect. Look at the poor bastard. He's looking okay, Marty. Remember what we saw when we worked at the hive? Wild ones. Don't even remind me. I'm trying to forget that shit every day. It's been even worse since. And I guess you heard about the riots. Who hasn't? You know, people are afraid that the Great Fire will happen again. And those hive houses are pretty flammable. I don't speak of the devil, Marty. But to be honest, I... I have no idea how this insect matter can be solved. I do. We just open the ghettos and let the insects live among us like they did for centuries. Your heart is pure gold, buddy. But you know it's not that easy. Clawville isn't what it used to be. Hmm. Maybe he can't understand what we're saying. Or he just doesn't want to talk to us. Which I can understand, considering how most of the animals treat these poor bastards. Aren't insects animals? Harmful, Sonny. You think I'm indifferent about the insect issue? I didn't say that, boss. I'm not indifferent. I just think we... Well, we've simply gone too far to even make it right. No. That's not the right attitude. I, I'm with Marty on this Never one. Too late to change, Sonny. Yeah. I hope you're right. Is that the chitin blues? I think so. It has a unique sound to it, that's for sure. Oh no. Cleo is looking at the screen. I'd okay. Like to visit the hive again. No, it's things fine. Lighten up a little. Yeah, and when they welcome cops again. Yeah, right. Ah, is that the co I think so. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we'll talk to him. Hey, pal. Or dumb. Can you hear me? Dabble, uh, oh, that's cool, because he has six legs. Four arms, two legs, I guess. Is he deaf? I don't know. Maybe he just doesn't understand what I'm saying. Or he doesn't want to. That's also very likely. Ah, uh, poor bug eyes. At least he's playing music. I mean, he's doing something. Most of the destitute take up drinking or drugs. Or worse. Mm. You know about the light. You mean the light the insects believe in? Hmm. Yeah, their afterlife. If they want to go into the light, they set themselves on fire. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, hi, baby. Are you there I now? Heard that. Maybe it's not a bad way to go. That depends on your point of view. Do you have more dialogue? Uh, poor bug. Uh, you no. mean the, that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm having fun. Entrance. Let's go in. I I'm gonna take forever in uh, each scenes because I want to hear all the dialogue. 
the guy's middle name is bad luck. That's for sure. Should I autoplay? Oh, I can replay. That's good. For the old time's sake is the achievement. What do we have? Do box. Bobby, no. Wait, what does it say? Bubbly, Bubbly J Blackmore, and the brand new album, Break Me. For a handful of feathers. Dead fly, tell no tale. Get a bite of me, baby. My city's on fire. Shadow of a doubt. Not all cops are pigs. Haven't met a pig yet. Can I actually change the name? No, I can't. Okay, nothing to see here, I guess. Poster. Fly with me, baby. Katzen Ma Ma Mavis. The new star of rock and roll. Hell yeah. And voila, the master himself. What a finch. Uh, Sonny, he's a pigeon, not a finch. Ha <laughs> ha. Don't make me angry, Marty. Okay, I was only joking. In another life, I'd love to be a rock star. <laughs> Aww. Everyone, Marty. For me. Ah, thanks, boss. <laughs> Kids these days and their crazy music. What would old MB Davis say to this garbage? Kids these days. Yep, 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 yep. Let's see the menu. You still don't eat meat, old man? I'm a rooster, a chicken. <laughs> the hell would I eat meat? I don't mean real meat. I'm not a lunatic, <laughs> but a meat substitute. So we have ten different kinds. Have you never tried any of them? Why would I? If I don't eat meat, why would I eat a substitute? Because you can. That's the point. Wild gods, Marty. Stop being such a sheep. Do you fall for those adverts? Substitute isn't meat, Sonny. And if it's tasty, why wouldn't I eat it? Mm -hmm. I don't care what you eat. But don't be surprised when you lose all your feathers or you try to bite off your own leg one day. Oh, God. Ooh, a nice pancake with hemp mm. seed, chocolate, and black onions. What? I'd rather have somebody pull my beak off. <laughs> ah, you used to be more daring. Yeah, and my back didn't hurt either. Furry heavens, it's depressing being around you, boss bird. Ooh, maybe a peanut souffle with faux meat. <laughs> Oh, stop it, Marty, before I get sick. Ugh, you're just a boring old man. I'd rather be boring than dead. All right. I wouldn't eat here if my life depended on it. I wouldn't eat... Okay. Almost ham and tomato. Toasted sandwich with synthetic meat. Quasi meat and cheese. Uh, all but bacon and chocolate. All four foul pancakes. Touche souffle. <laughs> uh, smell in souffle. Just like home, eh? Burgers and hot dogs. Old Zip knows best. Super sized hot dog with synthetic sausage, chocolate mix, and a devil horn paprika. And devil horn paprika. Grass dog, savannah style with five kinds of grass step burger 2000 burger will dilly squat and sour root salad Squ squat see your superstar super six burger with 12 types of algae hot dog hot dog no hop dog hot dog okay Normal size hot dog with a kind of synthetic meat. Okay, we got it. Zips coffee. What else? We have cold. There's a burger here. Cold coffee. The highlight of my day. Yeah, I can smell it already. How does he make the coffee here Ooh, so special? 
good coffee. Mangy trash panda and tell me, do you really want to know? Um, you're right, as always. Ah, this will do. Until tomorrow morning, at least. That's right. Someone once said that everything's backwards in Clawville. The beer's always warm and the coffee's always cold. <laughs> well, I guess I'm starting to understand what he meant. Someone wants Okay. Doodles. Fuck KKK the king. Where all the colors go? What insight? Wise words, pal. Wise words. Well, that's a good question, pal. You know what? I was thinking the same thing. You know what? Okay. The door didn't look like this last time. Yeah, because last time you tore it out and beat that baboon with it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember now. So that's why Zip remodeled the whole place. <laughs> he had to. We didn't leave much of it standing. If I didn't know how nice we are, I'd almost hate ourselves. <laughs> Welcome to the club, partner. What's that smell? You know, I don't want to know. Zip. Ah. Zip once had Marty do the dishes because he tried to take off without paying. And that was one of the best days of my life. Really? Cleo, what are you doing? Stop running the suitcase. Zip. He sure didn't get any younger. Or prettier. You think he's still mad at us? Frankly, Marty, I don't give it up. <laughs> You think he might know something about the case? He knows almost everybody in this city. At least he used to once. Let's see if he still does. When I first arrested him, he was barely 14 years old. I was a rookie cop. Who would have thought we'd end up like this? I love that. Yeah, well you get additional dialogue and like some more exposition or some more like lore oh the hands i can't the f human hands with the head is so weird to me hello boys now get the hell out of here while i'm asking nicely hey is that how you greet two old friends hey, hey. i'm not joking sonny i got a shotgun under the bar no you don't because if you had we'd arrest you here and now Oh, it... There's still life in you when you're full of buckshot. Ah, it's going well so far. We're just here for a coffee, Zip. I like okay. the old claws. Like old times. Nothing's like old times. Haven't you noticed? Yeah, as a matter of fact, it's quite noticeable. Shit. All right. Then where'd you blow in from? We haven't been anywhere yet, but we're going somewhere. Everybody's going somewhere, right? Tell me, how much do you know, Zip? That depends. How deep is it? Bottom of the well kind. Goes down around Ibn Wessler. Holy hell! Wessler? You've dipped your wings in deep shit, boys. If you've boys. got anything on him, don't keep it to yourself. We'd be grateful. Grateful? Maybe you're not gonna trash my joint this time, eh? You know, Ibn's acting strange nowadays. He always believed that if you want something done, you do it yourself. That's how it was for years, anyway. And? But now, he left his real estate, the fish racing clubs, the casinos, and the bars to his right-hand man, Mongrel Mick. And ever since, he's been kind of weird, bottomed out, brooding in the seediest joints of the city. Nobody ever knew him to be like this. Weird, huh? Yeah, hmm. weird. Do you think it's about a lady? It's always about a lady. Well, there is a woman. I knew it. But not like you think. Is this gonna cost much? Only a favor. Like the good old oh. Okay, I'm in. That Natasha's a mysterious woman. A real cursed jewel, if you ask me. She came out of nowhere two or three years ago and landed on the stage of the millions almost immediately. Is that so? Interesting. 
Yeah, she's got a fantastic voice. Makes men go crazy. But we all know that's not what's important. Then suddenly, bam! She got the whole club. Just like that. But we know exactly how it was. I can imagine, yeah. Since then, it operates under the name The Czar Club. The Czar right? Club. The old click is still clicking, right? Yeah. The club was renamed and remodeled. Everyone knows she was Ibn's lover, but she's not your usual canary. She didn't get involved in Ibn's dirty dealings. Then how exactly does she fit into the picture? Check this. A few months ago, the old rat pulled out of his own businesses and gave control to Mongrel Mick and his mob. Mongrel Mick? Doesn't sound familiar. Mick the Marauder ring a bell? Damn, that little monkey came this far? Uh, I think that little shit took advantage of Ibn not being himself. Which has something to do with this Natasha, right? That's my guess. Thanks for this straight dope, Zip. We owe you one. One? You mm. owe me the price of a new coffee shop, remember? Okay, remember? okay. Whatever you need. Just call us. I cluck and will. Thanks, pal. <laughs> Why do you say I'm cluck? Pal, Marty. <laughs> okay. You sure talk a lot. And maybe the past is haunting me. Once a rat, always a rat, right? Aw, oh, come on, Zippy. Don't be so hard on yourself. You got out in time. And you've been living an honest, ordinary life since then, haven't you? Yeah, right. How lucky am I, eh? It's more than what many others get, believe me. What's this no insects allowed shit? You're not like that. What do you think? If I let one in, all of them will follow. And then I can forget my regular clientele for good. Jeez. What clientele? There's no one here. That's it. Would you take even that away from me? What's this no insect? What? what? That's it. Have you ever been to that place? Of course, a hundred times. Everyone who matters in this city's been there. Sorry, guys. But then, it had a different name and a different owner. Ooh. Business affairs, right? Yeah, that was the dark era, Sonny. I don't want to talk about it. Roger that. So they just said the same thing if I do this. Ever been to that place? Of course, a hundred. Okay. Yeah. Roger that. I've got to say, you've revamped the joint pretty well. Yeah, after you trashed it, I had to. Look, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, Zip. That ocelot and his gorilla. <laughs> Baboon, not gorilla. Whatever. Sonny, <clears throat> watch your beak. So you owe me one until about the end of time. But I'd settle for you washing up here for a few years after retirement, Sonny. Mind your tongue, for a ball. <laughs> so, Ibn's gone insane. Love will kill you in the end, they say. Seems like everyone's in a poetic mood today. You're one to talk, by the way. Huh? Why? So, about that woman. Is she really that dangerous? Mmm, pancakes and bacon. What woman is it, huh? No, Zip. I mean, really dangerous. She's got the most influential gangster of the city wrapped around her finger. She calls him her little fur ball. How dangerous do you think she is? Hmm. Interesting. You didn't get any younger, pal. <laughs> You're telling me? You look like you haven't had a good night's sleep since forever. To be honest, I've never had a good night's sleep in my life. So yeah. <laughs> you will when the big sleep comes. And what are your plans? Dying behind the bar? Or behind bars, huh? You got a better idea? A couple, yeah. But somehow this suits you. You know what? Your mother's a goat. What? <laughs> Is that all? Let's see what we learn about people. Natasha. She, has the sing she was the singing sensation of the millions and later became the owner under Ibn's patronage. Not much is known of her past before this, though. Mysterious. Ibn. 
He's been acting quite strange recently, as if he was trying to withdraw from his own shady businesses to live a simple life with simple pleasures. That would be a problem in itself, but this just isn't like him. More, more people? Yeah, zip. Zippy zip. He used to be a small-time criminal, but the underworld pushed him out. Now he makes the best coffee in the whole city, in a run-down roadside rest area. Oh, and he also proved to be a rather useful police informant. Zip is getting old, it still has his connections, it's worth questioning him about everything. The time has had its way with him, too. Zip was delivering information to Ibn up to a, cop up to a couple years ago. He was already working as a police informant then, so he may have been reporting to both sides, the sneaky little bastard. Sneaky little bastards. An old enemy who became a good friend over the years. What else do we have? The Great Fire of Clawville. Not long after the Meat War and the following economic crisis, in 893, a fire almost destroyed the entire city of Clawville. Originated in the Ratwell district, not even the River Times was able to stand in its way. It was fiery hell incarnate, after which the city had to be built up again almost from scratch. Meat replacement or meal substitute food made it made it possible to reduce meat, meat consumption, predation, and domestic ca cab cannibalism. Cannibalism. What? Yeah. In the whole wilderness. These products are widespread nowadays and are not only popular with pred predators, but all kinds of animals. Mongrel Mick. Mick the Marauder. Marauder. Mick is the one of the most famous henchmen of Eb Eben Wessler. Known by many rather scary nicknames, thanks to his cruel nature. Sonny and Marty have crossed paths with Mick before, and it took a lot of effort to get out of those encounters with feathers intact. Oh my god. There are so many. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, I think I'm done with this for now. Let's go to the hotel again. Yeesh. My condolences, pal. <laughs> I see your cleaning lady died. Oh, oh fuck! I wouldn't want to go in there. Yeesh. My condolences, pal. I see your cleaning lady died. Yeah, she set foot in the bedroom once. I haven't seen her since. I didn't dare to go after her. Oh, I wouldn't want to go in there either. But what's that smell? Ah, cigarettes and whiskey. Yeah, with a hint of dirty laundry, but no. This is mm -hmm. lavender? Ah, that. No, that's got to be the Ibanez dame. You know, the broad who gave me the letter. And the job, obviously. Ah, uh, pretty, huh? I can smell it. Oh She's God! Exotic, too, an impala, maybe? Furry hell. That's why Chief Inspector Bloodboil hates you so much. He's jealous because your <laughs> nose is better than a clucking bloodhound's. <laughs> the bitter old dog. He just hates all foul. Ah, uh, true. Except for Monica. Monica is a fairy, not a bird. So, <clears throat> what now? Well, let's gather my stuff and head to the club. We gotta find out who this Natasha is and what she wants from us. I mean, what she really wants. Yeah, after you, boss bird. I wouldn't like to touch anything in here anyway. If it's okay, I'll just stand around and stare out the window. Sure, <laughs> sure pal. Just do it quiet. You're getting older, Marty. You look like shit. <laughs> you look I like shit. Thanks. I thought angels I like Marty. don't grow old. Ah, leave it, will you? Sure. Boo hoo. <laughs> Still don't understand what this part of him is. Why are you staring this. at me like that? I was just thinking about 
Ah, oh, what the hell are we looking for, anyway? Jeez, old bird. You want to look around, remember? No, I mean figuratively. Oh, well, then it's a good question. Hang to Fino. Uh, thanks for your help, partner. It's a pleasure to work with you again. Ah, don't mention it, boss. Why are you staring at me? I no. Oh. Uh, ah, don't mention When was the last time I was here? I don't know. Years ago. When Molly left. Whew, that was a, a wild night. Yeah. You know, Sonny, you can call me. Not just when you want to uh -huh. investigate some shady cave <coughs> from a shady dame and you need a big meat shield to cover your ass. Times have changed, Marty. And I don't call anyone. All right. All right, Boss Bird. Whatever you say. Ooh. I can ask him things no now. Staring quietly enough. <clears throat> well, the floor's creaking a bit when you shift your weight, so, uh... You're an asshole. You have what we can... I just want to look around a little. I'm ready. Yeah. All right, Sonny. Then grab your map and let's hit the road. Jack. You have what we can... I okay. Right. I want to ask you stuff. Have you been there before? Uh, never. You know, it's not my style. It's too fancy for me. I'm more like the smoky, smelly, ramshackle little joint type. Yeah, same here. But we're not gonna mingle like this, right? We're not searching for a tailor on New Year's Eve, okay? We'll go as we are. That'll be <laughs> exciting. Let's just stay out of trouble, okay? What trouble? That's the spirit. Debra. So she just turned up with a message on this flyer and you fell for it? Maybe I was bored. Or maybe there's more to this thing than meets the eye. Yeah, there's always more. Maybe I just wanted to meet you for old time's sake. That's not funny. <laughs> I've never had a good sense of humor. You know that better than anyone. That's for sure. <laughs> What? Wait, what's a dive bar? Why don't I... I don't think I know what that is. Well, I'm glad it went by fast, sweetie. Hope everything is alright. I'm assuming it just, like, checked up on you and nothing... Message so from Natasha. My city's on fire. Sounds good. But that's all? It's kind of weak for a clue. It's not a clue. Oh, I see. It's just a guide. By the way, it's New Year's Eve. We deserve some fun, right? Well, that's true. But it's never that easy with you, Boss Bird. Interesting. There's something you're not telling me, right? Nothing important, Marty. Uh, oh, that's yeah. good, sweetie. If you say so. That's good. I didn't listen to any of this. Club, huh? My city's on. It's not a clue. Well, that's not okay. Nice. Whatever. Oh, hi, Mr. Sinclair. How are we? Sinclair is doing fine, thanks. Anyway, you still talk to your... Yeah, house. sweetie. Yeah. You can put, so put a little alarm or something. Their plants. Crazy, <laughs> isn't it? At least a gun has a soul. And it's useful. I can't believe you're allowed to walk around freely, Birdie. Oh, if you only knew what I'm packing right now. I don't want to know what's under your feathers, Marty. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't, I, I'm not a bar person, so, so I wouldn't know. Is there you stuff know, to do? Well, don't you f uh, don't be such a drama queen. It's not the world that's changed, it's us. Clawville's Clawville. We're just getting older. No, there really is something. You know the feeling of foreboding, of something wrong, of something bad on the horizon. Ah, uh, you're screwing my mood. Yeah, but I'm not sorry. No shit. Aww. <laughs> That's sweet. A long time ago, when an animal was starving, they bit someone. Worst case, they killed or ate them. That's being a predator, isn't it? And that was our job. Uh, 
Yeah. What are you getting at? Well, it's not the case anymore. Ah, so okay. If you. Ah, man, I can't imagine how you feel. The only good. So thing many dialogue. Friend. Shut up, Marty. <laughs> And it's all voice acted. She was the one, right? I mean, the one. So? Marty, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear a single word. Are we clear? Jeez, oh, calm down, boss bird. She was the one, Marty. Huh. The old days. You know, I miss him sometimes. What? The hype? Us as celebrity cops? <laughs> Nah, the work, the buzz, the phone ringing at 4 a.m. and knowing if you pick it up, you'll be dragged into something terrible, because that's your job. And of course, you pick it up every clucking time. I'm not sure it's healthy to enjoy that. Hey, no healthy animal becomes a cop in Clawville. Yeah, true. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I don't know if I'd feel comfortable, but... <laughs> So this is them. Yeah, the wild gentlemen. They were role models when I was a kid. Well, you must have been a weird kid, which ain't surprising. My idols were the White Wolf and Super Squirrel. The White Wolf, eh? <laughs> Explains a lot. You know, when I was back in Averia, Clawville and the whole let's live together in peace bullshit seemed like an unattainable dream. Those guys made it happen. The city rose from the ashes of the great fire. Yeah, but look at mm -hmm. it now. And what would have become of you if you hadn't ended up in Clawville? Maybe you'd even be yeah, okay. happy? Perhaps. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Then it's kind of different, right? Those guys were something, huh? Nowadays, I don't know what they were. <laughs> or what I believed they were. Say, Bosbert, do you read poetry now? No. Why? Because you're going nuts. Well, thanks. Thanks. Those guys were not nothing. Well, who's that shaggy creature? <laughs> That's MB Davis, you bird brain. Am I going to have Fuck. to smash your beak? Seriously, I don't know who the hell he is. <sighs> I know. He's the guy who smuggles cocaine <laughs> in his prosthetic leg, isn't he? One more word about Mr. Davis, Marty, and I'm gonna wring that ham-sized neck of yours. <laughs> you don't have to cock a doodle immediately, you know. I'm just clucking with you, okay? I know. <laughs> you... Hmm, I didn't know you used to be a kindergarten teacher. But leather? It's history, so back off. I'm touched by the trust you have in me, boss bird. There are things better left undisturbed, okay? Yeah, got it. You weren't an orphan, were you? That would explain a lot, you know? You've never talked about your family. No, I wasn't an orphan. My parents are dead, but most of my family still lives somewhere in Averia. Then what the hell still keeps you in Clawville? There's nothing remotely good here. Especially nothing as good as a family. I had my own family, Marty. Not anymore. And Clawville is my home, like it or not. Because that's what I deserve. Ooh. Okay. I get it. Okay. You weren't an orphan, were you? No. And what? Mm. <laughs> yeah, where do you live, Jen? Do you live... I mean, I... Probably in the US, right? That's all I know. You don't have to say, of course. Maybe I'm just old. And okay. My wife took all the good ones. She knew they'd only gathered dust here. And she was right. <laughs> oh, that's why it, all the grease jokes. I get it now. Okay. My wife took all the... I'm gonna clean up here one day. One yeah, day. And one day the sun's gonna explode too. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna clean up here. 
I'm gonna clean up too one day. All this mess is gonna be gone one day. What this Natasha woman really wants. Have you started on your great novel yet? I've already started working on my will, but I realize I'd have to leave everything to you, so clock that. Clug that. Pity. I've always wanted a chicken coop smelling like old socks and bourbon. You'll have to earn it first, Marty. I can't even remember the last time I used this. Maybe in another lifetime, old bird. What does that mean? Maybe oh, travel. Mm, it would be best to board it up. It'd go well with this rundown neighborhood. It may be run down, but somehow I still feel like it's honest. Sure. You can live in Cockroach Town. That's an honest place, too. Has a similar stink. Believe me, Marty, I thought about it. Uh, why am I not surprised? When was the last time you've slept in your bedroom? I don't know. I'm not sure I'd even recognize it anymore. Uh, you're hopeless, boss. I guess you're right. Nothing interesting in there. But if there is, it'll remain hidden for all eternity. Okay, so when you come in these places, when you come back, there's no real story stuff. It's just more... more, um... exposition. The Wild Gentleman, a civilian organization started by the four most influential and wealthiest animals in the city. The fire of 867 had almost entirely wiped Clawville of the face of the wilderness, when the Wild Gentleman intervened and built the city anew using all their money and influence. They were heroes, or at least they were regarded as such. Some believed the fire was their doing, and it was all part of a national conspiracy, but most likely we'll never know the truth. <laughs> Vira Country inhabited exclusively by birds It's a picturesque modern place Governed by democratic parliament It's bordered by two seas And its economy is built mostly on air transport Commerce and its aerial ma military The country is on neutral terms With almost every other nation And except for the great meat war had kept this standpoint all throughout known history. Leather and fur. Leather and fur used to be high fashion, but nowadays, especially in Clawville, the use of real leather and fur is quite rare, if not totally illegal to wear these kinds of clothes. Yet, if you can afford it, but it's quite despicable, to put it mildly. Yeah, it's like you're wearing human skin. Okay, I think I've done everything there was to do in these two places. So let's go. If you say his name three times, you're gonna get memed had passed, on. And the intoxicated madness kicked in. We could only crawl along Shalva District's main streets toward downtown. The city's heart beat differently. Ancient buildings were defaced by neon signs and billboards, like half-drunk lovers on a fine leather sofa. Great old houses. Speaking of meth, I forgot to take garish it. modern blocks. A place that makes the head hurt. The Tsar's huge neon sign was visible for miles. A blazing red sign advertised tonight's main attraction, the amazing Natasha. So she owns the club and is the singer? Uh, cops were never welcomed at places like this. I hoped we were too late for the show. We had to be inconspicuous, but it was never easy with this bird mountain by my side. Oh, look at these people. Uh, hello, game? Okay. Ah, Whew. so this is the famous Czar Club. More like infamous, Marty. It's not for our kind, that's for sure. And I don't mean that they don't like foul here. Well, at least we don't have to be afraid that they see you as a detective, boss bird. Very 
funny, Marty. So what are we going to do now? We find Natasha, the broad who sent me the message, remember? But first, we need to get into the club. And Marty, please, don't monkey this up. Excuse me, <laughs> on behalf of the well-respected and noble primate community of Clawville. Cut the crap, Marty. Let's focus on what we're here for, okay? As you say, Botbird. Czar Club Grand New Year's Show tonight. In the most colorful club of the most colorful city, my city's on fire, a brand new hit from the Queen of the Night. for the show the girls new year's eve's once a year right and we're not on duty have i asked how laura's doing well, <laughs> really, I, I was just kidding okay my relationship with laura is unwavering like the rhino beauty on this picture interesting taste you've got feathers scales or dermal armor a lady's a lady my friend Thank the wild gods for self-sacrificing gentlemen like you. What? My city is on fire. This is it. It was on the flyer from Deborah. Maybe we'll get to hear it, if we're unlucky. From none other than our secret employer, Natasha Katsenko. Ah, a job with benefits, huh? Mm, don't be tasteless. Oh, I get it now. The title. Do you think it's about the Great Fire of Clawville? Did you ever think of being mm. a detective? Ah, very funny. My city is on fire. This is it. it was, uh, did you? Ah, very. Shush, 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 shush. Okay, that's all there is to see here. Lewis, I knew I, I, I knew that was him. One day, neon signs will cover the whole world. I'm telling you. You read that in some kind of science fiction book? No, it's just what I think. Oh, so you have your own thoughts now. The world's really moving forward. Luck off, Sonny. The Czar Club. I'm not gonna forget this buzzing red neon light anytime soon. The wild new show tonight. My seat is on fire. Oh, look at that. Isn't that the new Tesla? It is, Marty. A brand new 942 Silver Hawk. Haven't seen such beauty since I left Averia. Of all that's furry, whose is it? Maybe it's Ibn Wessler's. I guess he's no paper tiger. Who's that? Yeah, he sounds like a fellow who drives around in one of these. Lucky bastard. Lucky bastard. <laughs> what a beautiful car. A work of art. Seeing it and thinking about my little rusty cupboard <laughs> breaks my heart. Ah, uh, don't torture yourself, Sonny. Only way we're ever gonna drive one of them is if we sign up for the mob. Maybe it would be worth it. I think we'd be great gangsters <laughs> in another <laughs> life. Beautiful car indeed. Yep, as you say. <laughs> Do you remember when the Clawville Chronicle was a really high-quality newspaper? You mean when they wrote something about us daily? Yeah. What exactly happened to them? Well, they got bored with us, Marty. And to be honest, so did I. But still, here we are working together again. Funny, huh? Yeah. Hilarious. Hilarious. Tonight? Maybe we'll be on the front page once again. Oh, God forbid. Tonight? Oh, God. Shush. Okay. Huh. I like this. Why is that? You're a simple bird, Shit. aren't you? Shit. Huh. Why is that? I don't know. Because it's moving, I guess. You're a simple bird, aren't you? Yes, mm. I am. Moonlight Boulevard. What? What did it say? Clavel story. Epur Simwave. Oh, 
Oh, bless you. It means, and yet it moves, bird brain. An old wolf mm. named Galileo said that. Oh, I see. And what did he mean by that? Eh, don't know. I think there was something wrong with his stomach. Ouch. What? A poor seem Oh, bless oh. you. It means, and yet it and moves, yet it moves. Bird oh. brain. Ouch. No. Okay. I think that's it. Let's look at people. Hey, that's your old friend, right? Wait, what was his name? Uh, Lawrence? Lamar? No, Liam. Lewis. Yes, it's him. Be honest, Sonny. I always thought that guy's not all there in the head. Nobody's perfectly sane in Clawville, Marty. But if not for this old rabbit, I wouldn't be here today. I'll never forget that. Should I thank him <laughs> or kill him for it? You're reading my mind, boss. Um, sweetie, whatever you want. Do you want Wendy's? Then get Wendy's. <laughs> Love you too. Yeah, I have kitty emotes. Because my, my kitty is the best kitty. She's in the suitcase right now because I still have the suitcase out since I came back here. Because I'm a messy person and I never clean up and that's bad. Anyways. <laughs> oh, I can talk to him too. Is Lucas really such a big fan? Lewis. And yes, he's got the whole Chicken Police book series. Damn his taste. Is Lucas really such a big fan? <laughs> Lewis. And yes, he's it's got not the debatable. Chicken... It's Honestly, not. I think these types <laughs> of women only see faceless tuxedos, cufflinks, and wallets. And in the mirror, they're just brooches, necklaces, and earrings. What are you Nobody's trying to say? Body. They're women. They live by different. Yay! Mm, that was kind of deep. Kitty it's huggies. Not just bullshit. There's more where that came from. Ooh, teach me, master. When you're old and wise like me, you'll realize none of it is worth a damn thing. Wait, <laughs> that was deep again, right? Maybe it Yay, was. Yay, new quote. Maybe it was. Amazing. Oh no, he does? That's so cute. Oh my god, I wish she did that. <laughs> I mean, she's super cuddly already, but... That fella's oh, built like that's not what I wanted, house. but I don't think we'll be able to just sneak past him. I didn't mean to bet? click that. Not today, Marty. Remember, we must avoid suspicion. Ah, okay, okay. No trouble. I get it. I get it. Okay, I get it. Maybe next time. What? What was that? Uh, nothing. Just the wind. Did you bring I agree. Bertha with you? Gods, no. What are you thinking? What idiot would bring a shotgun to a club? Was that a rhetorical question? No, it's... let's not bother her. Okay, boss. Okay, boss. Okay, we already talked to that. Uh, looked at that person. Now we're looking at that person. Jeez, look at that guy. That's not a guy. That's a demon. Straight from the dog-eared pages of a cheap detective novel. Yeah, I bet his name's Bill. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely a Bob. Five bucks for Bill? Okay, I'm in. Oh, it's a, it's a ram. I thought it was like a buffalo first. Jeez, look at that guy. That's not a guy. That's okay, a we, demon. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Let's talk to everyone. Sonny, my dear friend. Hi, Lewis. This is my partner. But I'm sure you already know no idea how happy I am to meet you, Mr. Marty. I'm a big admirer of your work. <laughs> so cute. Pleasure's all mine, Lawrence. Lawrence? <clears throat> Always. <clears throat> so, the legendary chicken police back together? What did you get? The pub pretzel one? Don't ruffle my feathers, Lewis. Those days are long gone. We're just here for the entertainment. Or something like that. I see you. That's a sh sh shame. See you inside? I have s 
something to do with my <laughs> pal, but I'll try to make it for the main event. Okay then, catch you later, pal. Catch you later. Let's not bother him again. Yes, sir. Lamb. Let's not bother. Okay, boss. Okay. Okay. Let's talk to that bouncer. Gentlemen, how can I help you on this wonderful chilly night? All the course, accent, I love VIP it. Lounge. My apologies, but I don't remember ever seeing you gentlemen here before. May I ask? I stop right oh, is he supposed to be French? I get it. Yeah, I know exactly how this works. No, no so way. What do you have to do to get in? Nothing's easier, sir. Are you on the list? Yeah, the he's list. supposed to be French. Yeah, I'm. Uh, 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 don't tell me you forgot. I'm afraid I did, Marty. Sorry, big guy, but I'm pretty sure we're not on the list tonight. <laughs> That's a shame. I'm really sorry, sirs. In that case, you can't come in. Yeah, right. Oh, thanks. My pleasure, gentlemen. Just one more thing. Uh, this list of yours, uh, where should we sign up again? I'm afraid if you don't know, it's not my place to tell you, sir. Uh, Excusez-moi, uh, the regulations, you know. <laughs> Excusez-moi. Uh, hear that, Sonny? I do, Marty. I do. Well, I'm gonna lose my crest from this guy. Just wait. Just what do you mean? Don't get being... too excited, Marty. Not tonight. Anyway, this uh, guy is. Thanks, pal. What's pate? Indian food is so good. I never get it. It's always so expensive on like when I want to order. On like Uber Eats of st or stuff like that. It's always expensive. But... Come to Greece. Yes, gentlemen. Hey, big guy. Uh, what's your name again? My name is Archibald. <laughs> Archibald Conway. Well, that's not a bob. Excuse me, monsieur. Archib... what? No way, that's not even a real name. I'm Archibald. I'm disappoint you, sir, but uh, my name is Archibald Conway, without any doubt. Blackjack Conway, to my friends. Well, thanks, to my Blackjack. friends. It was a pleasure. We'll be on our way now. Is that it? No, I can't. Oh, I wish they did that. But you can't talk to him anymore. Jeez, that's not a... Greece is pretty cool. I'm not, why would I ask that? They famously don't let cops in. Say, big guy, is this your job? To stand in front of the club and keep out decent fellows like us all night? Not entirely, monsieur. My employer has many other kinds of jobs for me. He is quite creative in his field, I must say. Like? Like what? Exactly. Sorry, monsieur. I'm not, uh, permitted to say anything more about the matter. Regulations, yeah, I know. Uh, this bullshit just gave me a headache. So sorry to hear that, sir. Say, big guy, you know Mr. Lewis Hayworth? But of course. Mr. Oh. And also a frequent visitor That's gentleman. how we get in. Is that so? Good to know. And I'm afraid that is all, monsieur. What can you tell me about the first lady of the place, big, big guy? guy. Uh, you mean Miss Natasha Katsenko, sir? You're right on point, pal. Nothing you don't know already, sir. Just try me. Well, she owns the place. And, uh, that's it? Well, that's, uh, <clears throat> unbelievable. Pardon, monsieur, but I'm not permitted to say anything more. Why do they hate that guy? He's just being very polite. Look, I really don't want any trouble, but... It is even more inconvenient for me, sir, but... This place doesn't like, uh, coppers. Give this line. I can't let just anybody in, and there are some I'm strictly forbidden to. Please, you have to understand. Listen here, you cow. 
Do you have any idea who we are? You ever read Jeez, the Marty. Of course, I know who you Embarrassing. Are. I hear the news and more, and I must admit it's an honor to meet you in person, Mr. Santino Featherland and Mr. Marty McKeekin. The Bell of the Pantares is one of my favorite books. Oh my god, not the books again. So it would be terribly inconvenient for me if I had to use force on you, gentlemen. What? what did you just say? Relax, Marty. This guy has chicks like you for breakfast. Now, thanks for the information, pal. Uh, have a nice night. Thank you for understanding, gentlemen. And forgive me for my austere composition. No problem, Shakespeare. All right. So I guess we're talking to Lewis. Nope. And getting him to let Look, us Lewis, go in. That bouncer over there. Well, yes. He is a bit intimidating, but his manners are impeccable. Am I right? Yes, indeed. But it seems tonight we're not on his list. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I get it. I get it. <laughs> You'd like to go in, but he won't let you. Yeah. Something like that. No, 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 no problem at all. Come with me. I'll talk to him. Much obliged, pal. Yeah, thanks, bunny. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, jeez, what the hell's wrong with you, Marty? What? Did I say something wrong? <laughs> Wait, let me see where Ohio is. I don't remember. I used to know where all the states were, but... Nope. Oh, there you are. Okay. I see. Not far from... Well, depending on where you live. Not far from where... From Michigan, I guess. Wait, so... Sir! How'd you do? Okay. Everything's fine, Mr. Aworth. Good. <clears throat> uh, look, this noble pair of pigeons are my friends. They're on the list, okay? Naturellement, sir. Naturellement. As for you... <clears throat> you owe me yes! Say it, Louis. Thanks, old pal. It was my... Pleasure to help you, as always. Oh, so in corn. Archibald, big as a mountain, talks like a poet, smells like a barn. <laughs> it's a ram, okay. What I thought. The boulder standing guard in front of the entrance of the Sour Club probably reports straight to Ibn Wessler, not to mention he's exceptionally well educated and has an elaborate vocabulary. I wish yeah, I didn't have to like scroll through every time, but. The Claville Chronicle. The Claville Chronicle is the most read and highest quality newspaper in the city. It's so famous that it's also being read beyond Clawville's borders, and not just in the colonies. This was the paper that first published an article about the two heroic roosters, aka the chicken police. The article was written by Timothy Saltwater, the seagull journalist who has since become somewhat of a legend himself. Yay! Yeah, that was fun! Thanks for coming, Jen. See you soon in your stream or any anyone's stream. Okay, so I can go in now. The Star Club welcomes you, gentlemen. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Mm, 
what did I want? Didn't I, I wanted to do something? I don't remember what. I'm just gonna go ahead and then. Let's see how it is inside. The jazz overwhelmed us. There was no band in sight, yet the music seeped from the walls like years of cigarette smoke and the smell of spilled whiskey. Behind the bar, rows of fancy bottles reflected the harmonious voices of pretty dames and the clinking of crystal glass. It was the kind of place that makes you drunk, even if you've never had a sip. A dangerous place for someone like me. No matter how alien I felt, it was strangely like coming home. Welcome to the Tsar. <laughs> Here we are. All right. Mother of... I take you to the nicest places, eh, sweetheart? <laughs> Does it mean you're buying, honey? Don't even think about it. Oh, men these days. So we're here to find a dame called Natasha. Number of times they use that the word dame. Let's mingle and try to avoid suspicion. Isn't isn't she Just a singer? Like always. No, Marty. Not like always. This time it's for real. For real. Look at these fancy people. Oh, I can go all the way around. Oh no, I can't. <laughs> There's a lot to look at. Hope you guys are ready. <laughs> the loudest howl. He has the case. He has the girl. He has the gun. He is the alpha. <laughs> huh. Another lupus movie. Jeez. Is there nothing today they're not trying to sell with this guy? Whoa, don't be rude, Sonny. Lupus is a timeless genius. Have you seen Predator City? God, I'm still getting chicken bumps. <laughs> Wait, who's that next to him? Cassandra Ruby Fay. Nah, never heard of her. Hmm? Cassandra Ruby Fay. Oh, gods, even her name makes me go weak in the knees. Damn. Watch your blood pressure, pal. Don't mind me. Just women and guns are my only weakness. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> Okay. Marty, shut up. Are we gonna meet her at some point? Marty. Sandra Ruby Fay. What? The picture they were. They were what for? The big sheep. You think this is one of those movies where the femme fatale gets everything in the end and the poor detectives left stranded? Yep, just like life. You're old, Sonny. I mean, experienced. You ever met a woman like that in real life? Who floors you with a glass and leaves only heartbreak? Well, actually... Oh, but I, I, I didn't mean to... Uh, I'm sorry, Sonny. You're old, Sonny. Well... Oh. <laughs> Turmoil. Murder my tweet. Oh, I've seen this. Hicks Poodle plays a private eye, hired to look for a woman, then gets into some kind of blackmail thing that's connected to the first case. And hey, uh, Marty. What? Yeah. I don't give a shit. <laughs> okay. It's a classic. And kind of reminds me of the situation a little bit, right? right? How so? I don't know. A mysterious case, a mysterious woman, strange threats, some off duty investigation. So, like, think about it. What if, <gasps> what if we're in a movie and this whole mess is just fiction? Breaking the Marty, fourth wall. I think you're having a nervous breakdown. It's a class. <laughs> like, Marty. Veronica. <laughs> oh, I know this fodder guy. He was kind of good in Death of the Horse. <laughs> You've seen every cluckin' movie. You know, Laura and I. Yay! You can have Indian food. When was the last time you went? Exactly 12 years ago. Oh, you remember?
remember that precisely? Let me guess. Molly? Yep, our very first date. I see. What did you watch? I don't remember. I just remember her. <laughs> Nothing else. You're a clucking poet. I mean it. <laughs> yeah, we can have Indian food. I don't know... I. There's an Indian place near me, but... I mean, yeah, I've been once. What weird titles these have. Oh, I can't watch the last one. Very sad. Henchman? This guy is certainly not a gangster henchman. Of course he's not. No way. Hey, Marty, I bet you wouldn't dare to go up to him and ask if he hasn't seen your fur coat. What? Why? I'm mad, yeah, but not suicidal. Ah, are you chicken or what? Piss off, old bird. You can get it, Bash. Chicken chicken. Tonight or something. Why can't you even click on these people? Beautiful people. Fox fella. A fox is a wolf who sends flowers. What? Oh, nothing. I read it somewhere. Fascinating. I didn't know you could read. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Remember that old case with the fox and the raven? <laughs> How could I even forget? God, absurd, right? <laughs> All that bloodshed for a piece of cheese. Yeah. That's silly. Can bring out the monster in animals. Right. On the wildest and most primordial instincts, no matter how civilized they seem. As you say, Marty. Remember that other Yeah, 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 yeah. What happened? Your no, it is. I was hoping to have missed the main event. <laughs> You're a rusty old cock, that's why. <laughs> so says the little butt jam. But what? That's not even a word! It is now. <laughs> All because of you. You should feel honored. Butt jam. Uh, you know, Sonny, sometimes you're like an evil little child. Oh god, thirst. Sweetie, don't. What is it, butt jam? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, old fart. I don't want to anger him. Czar bar, big buck. So, where the hell is Natasha? Well, let's ask that stud over there with those nice gals. Mm, that guy looks way too horny for my taste. Oh man, your sense of humor is bad as ever. Yep. You just need to get used to it again. What? Uh... <sighs> ah, this is the life, huh? What's this guy do? Real estate? Mob accountant? Or is he a movie star? He looks like a coat hanger to me. Uh, you guys are jealous. Actually worse than the previous joke. <laughs> I try. Ah, uh, this is the life. <laughs> Look at this cute waitress. Ooh. This is so weird looking. <laughs> okay, let's she look at pretty Whoop. long legs. I mean, pretty and long legs for a squirrel, but I don't want to be prejudiced. She's not We're a squirrel. We're not here to stare at pretty squirrels. We're here to investigate. Remember? Is she a squirrel? I guess she is. I didn't know they could have that long he ears. I guess uh, that girl is looking at me. That He's girl. Just looking at anyone whose glass is empty, Marty. That's all. Uh, no, 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 Sonny. She was staring at me like hard. I saw it. Marty, you're imagining things. Oh, wait a second. You see that, right? She's looking right at us with those big, black, weird squirrel eyes. Okay, Marty, don't <laughs> panic. Uh, just look elsewhere and walk away. <laughs> what? Creepy little squirrel girl. Creepy little squirrel girl. Okay. A 
man's best friend. What? Uh, that's not a dog, Sonny. That's a horse. He just has a very weird mane. I didn't mean him, Marty. I meant the bar. Oh, I see. Right. Yeah, because that totally makes sense. Don't be shy, Sonny. Just ask him for a drink. Still talking to yourself, huh? Great. <laughs> Don't be shy. Okay. Still hey, there's Philmar. Philmar? Oh, yes. Philmar. Because that's what he calls himself, right? You know him well? We had some seriously wild cases together, yes. Mainly in Averia, way before Clawville. Another place and another life. Sounds good. Like the blurb of some cheap pulp fiction book. Yeah, it was the exact opposite. But the old bird's worth saying hi to. All right. The old hawk looks like shit if you ask me. <laughs> Just like looking into the mirror. The old hawk looks okay. like Okay. I'm gonna talk to this guy first. Two whiskeys, kid. Oh my and god, so weird. I've never heard that one before. I've never heard that one before. Yeah, you're right, Marty. Hey, long face. Give me a glass of tap water too, okay? Yes, sir. Coming right up. That wasn't exactly what I meant. As I recall, you're always bragging about hiding your shotgun in your coat so well, no one can see it. Sure. Maybe I have it with me now. Uh, yeah. <sighs> well, do you see that bottle, Marty? That's a 28-year-old Golden Eagle whiskey. Of all the furry gods, you're right. And they've just left it on the bar. Someone ordered it, Got so drunk he forgot all about it. So? So we're confiscating it as evidence. <laughs> yeah. Well, more like stealing it. But if it's easier for you. Bad, uh, bad. Twisted cops. pal. But to be honest, I've no objections. Oh, there it is. Fancy whiskey. Gentlemen, your drinks. Yeah, uh, sorry, but we have to run. Uh, Thanks anyway, Bojack. Ugh, my name is not Bojack. Ah, I tip you, pal, but I don't have any change, so... Sure, sir. The Tsar welcomes you back anytime. Sounds good, Bojack. Why are you mean to him? Didn't do anything. Ugh, anything else, sirs? Uh, no thanks, Why are we in reverse this time? Good work. Sonny, drinking problems, achievement. Place, but Laura's father went to that guy when his, you know, problems uh, had gone too far. You're treading on thin ice, Marty. No, I just... <laughs> Look, fellas at the station are talking, you know? All kinds of things. Moses, Plato, Bosco, and the others. Talking, eh? About what? About why Blood Boil took my badge? About what an untrustworthy alcoholic wreck I am? Look, I, I'm sorry, it doesn't matter. Good. And let it stay that way. Jeez. At least we're cracking this one together, yeah? Sure, Marty. Come to daddy, darling. Calling Boo's darling. <laughs> Kind of weird, don't you think? <laughs> yeah. There's someone who calls his gun collection. Oh, I guess. Sorry. Oh. Touche. I'll shut it. Good birdie. Good birdie. Tell me, hey breath. Have you seen Natasha? Why? Why are you so mean? Not yet, sir. But she's coming on soon. Well, can you tell me anything about Mr. Ibn Wessler? Sir, I, I don't want to. What about, let's see, five dollars maybe? But sir, you haven't <laughs> even paid for your drinks yet. Yeah, yeah, stop riding on the details, big nose. What? You do your job and we'll do ours, okay? I mean, we're not here for work, of course. We're just here to relax. Oh yeah, exactly. Just a little fun. 
Of course, gentlemen. Okay, let's talk to this guy finally. Philmar. That's well, your real well. name. If it isn't the great detective, Marlo. Blow me, Sonny. You know I don't use that name anymore. Okay. Mr. Dumbass alias Phil Marlowe. So says someone who tried to go undercover with the Feather Pillow Mafia is a turkey. Right, Mr. Turk Cayman? What? That was a long time ago. I was young. And I stick to my principles and my stupidity. Phil Marlowe and that's that. Don't rile me up, you old fart. Okay, okay, fair enough. Sorry, I'm a little clapped tonight. Uh, I know the feeling, pal. By the way, what are you two doing here? You stick out a bit. You mm. for a good old-fashioned beating? We stick out? Man, you look terrible. Like someone who sat on an electric pole. Don't even ask. I feel exactly like that. You want a case? Five feet tall, half of that legs. Angelic voice, demonic eyes, just the usual. Mm. Oh, boy. And you? Something like that. Just don't know the exact numbers yet. A dame named Natasha. She called us here. If I'm not mistaken, the joint is hers. Yeah, she owns the joint, amongst others. Well, good luck, guys. That broad has a reputation. She's not the kind to toy with, if you know what I mean. I'm hungry. Any useful information? Stop clucking around, Philmar. All right, but just because of the old days. Me after you talk, you wouldn't understand what I have to say about it before then. Don't leave unless you're thrown out. In which case, you know the drill. We don't know each other. I'll deny you in a blink. Good to see you too, old pal. All right. What? Oh. Is that just to show me that some people have come in? I guess so. Oh. Conversation can't be avoided. Just try to act normal. Yep. Well, I... that woman with Ibn, I think I know her from somewhere. Maybe in your dreams, pal. Uh, the memories are returning. Geez, just spare me the dirty details. What? <laughs> I guess we're talking to Ibn. Just act nonchalant, my friend. No, it can't be. What now? Is that Ooh. Olivia? No, Marty. Hey, uh, Olivia. Are you talking to me? It's me, Marty McChicken. <laughs> oh, God. What a pleasant surprise. The roaster coppers in person. Chicken police. But yeah, Mr. Wilson, mm -hmm. you could say so. The name's... Thank you, Fee. Featherland, of course, of course. Chicken police. Your partner is... Uh, he is... Uh, Marty McChicken, sir. I, I just introduced myself to your lady companion seconds ago. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm so I am. happy to see you. Hello, boys. So... To what do we owe this pleasure, gentlemen? Yeah, so, um, <clears throat> we, we were, um, just in the neighborhood, and... Cut the crap, Marty. All right, we're here for your sweetheart, Natasha. Oh. You guys are ma see. Whatever. No big deal. Just a blackmail thing. You know, horrifying threats written on the wall with blood-red paint. The usual stuff. 
You must be familiar with this kind of thing. Oh, yeah, indeed. It's a nasty business. But I didn't know Natasha hired a detective because of this simple matter. But to be honest, I understand. I would have taken matters into my own hands, you see. But I'm kind of busy. Mr. Wessler had a meeting with Attorney General Hemphill yesterday, so he's rather tired. If you would excuse us. Oh, dear Olivia, it's okay. These gentlemen are just doing their job, right? And if I've heard correctly, they're notoriously thorough. So, how can I help you? We've got no, I didn't. questions, if you don't mind. I'm at your service. I thought Natasha didn't want him to know about her asking for help. They're not doing this very, like, stealthily. Don't be shy, detective. Ask me anything. All right, Mr. Wessler. Let's see. That's it? Don't be shy. Yep. All right. No. Nice bunker you got here. Well, thank you, but it's not mine. Not anymore. But I'm sure you already know that. Listen, detective. If you want to know something, please ask straight, huh? All right, mm -hmm. Mr. Wessler, let's make this a bit more professional. I'm not as exciting as people tend to believe. I grew up in a poor family of many siblings. I'm the only one still alive, unfortunately. My career started with a shoe store, and now, here I am. I wouldn't call that an average life. Shoe store owner to mob boss. How dare you speak to Mr. Wessler like that? Leave it, Olivia, dear. It's just provocation. I'm sorry if I offended you, Mr. Wessler. Mm. Shall we talk about something else? Everybody knows Mr. Hayworth. He's an antique piece of furniture in this city, so to speak. Only a bit worn out. It's not my fault that he's so much in debt, detective. But the name of his family still rings quite loud in Clawville. Is that still worth anything? The name is just a name, of course. But the man behind the name is another matter, Mr. Fiddleland. You're a pragmatic rat. Thank you. Thank you. Wait. Everybody knows Mr. Hayworth. He's not only a bit worn out. It's not my fault that he's so much in debt, detective. But the name is that st name is Europe. Thank you. Thank you. Look, detective, if you want to know something, just ask. All just right, ask. Wessler. Has your assistant been working for you long? Are you talking about me? Yes, I'm talking about you, ma'am. Let me answer your question, then. I've been in Mr. Wessler's employment for six months. Why do you ask? Oh, just uh, routine questioning. You know, most of them aren't good for anything. Just killing time. It sounded rude to me. Yeah, please forgive a detective. Olivia's a real firecracker. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Oh, I can question, not only ask. Can I talk to you now? Let's see this first. Oh, good old Fillmore must know something about Natasha that could be important for the case, but he won't talk until I meet her. He seemed a bit nervous. It must be something really significant. Fillmore, he's a falcon. Absolute average forgettable guy and my old acquaintance from Averia. Filmar, the name he goes by nowadays, is an old comrade from before the Clawville times. He's one of the best private eyes in the city, and just like most of them, he gets into trouble with the law pretty often. Yet, he's one of the very few people who can still be trusted in Clawville. So why do you... Why are you so mean to people and then you're like, oh, but I like them a lot. Like what? Good-looking, charismatic, and a clucking against. 
gangster. Unusually tall and slim for a crow. She's quiet and mysterious. I like her. Olivia is currently Ibn's Westler's assistant and escort. Finding out whether there's anything other than that, a working relationship between Miss Crow and Mr. Rat could prove valuable. Okay. Just to know. Still a bunch of people to meet. Okay, let's interrogate. Wessler is a tricky guy. Unfortunately, I don't know enough about him. I hate so the eyes. Cunning. I can't just pin him against a wall yet. Yeah. Wessler's a tricky guy. Okay. Tricky. I need to get that meter up. How did you feel when you heard about the blackmail? What? How did you feel when you heard about the blackmail? Honestly, I found it ridiculous. And now? Now I'm kind of interested. But I want to call it blackmail yet. They're just empty threats. There were no demands. Demands. Thank you. Are we done? No, not quite. I'm sorry to hear that. You seem a very busy man. May I ask what you do? Eh, it's uh, uninteresting. Uninteresting. Eh, I got a small share in the mid substitute business. If the new baby, works, eh, maybe we can make your job easier. You mean reduce predation in Clawville? There are such plans. Uh, if you're interested, talk to Olivia, my assistant. She's an expert in what she does, uh, unlike me. Thank you. That's it for now. Didn't we already ask that? I'm gonna ask again. Mistrustful, secretive, tricky. Is this place yours? No, it's not mine. Never been yours in the past? Yeah. Well, why do you ask questions you already know the answer to? Shit! Huh? Yeah, it was mine. Now it belongs to Natasha. She's my girlfriend. She's my what girlfriend. Uh, so that was a bad. <laughs> but that's okay. You're very taciturn, Mr. Wessler. Though I've heard you're quite the speaker. Look, I'll gladly talk to anyone about business. And even happy to talk about art. But uh, I'm no fan of interrogation on a night out. Are you even on duty? Sorry for any offense, Mr. Wessler. Let's talk about what? something else. What? Is that... Else. Shit. Wessler is tougher than I thought. Okay. And he's secretive. It's time to gently beat around the bush. Quick tempered. I went down on the detective meter. Well, that's we know that. Beat around the bush. similar incidents in Natasha's past. I mean, threats, blackmail, enemies or insane fans, psychopath pianists, perhaps. Mm, I don't know about enemies, but she's a celebrity. A star shining bright in Clawville's night sky. Do you understand? She gets endless fan mail. It could be anybody. Eh, I wouldn't overreact. Natasha doesn't feel that way. I've noticed. Hmm. Plus 15, yes. That's good. No, I'm not going to do that. Do you think one of her fans is the culprit? 
Why not? It's quite common. It's a typical motive, indeed. Any ideas who it could be? Yeah. Attorney General Hamtaro is obsessed with Natasha, but he's uh, more like the kiss on the head, flowers bowing type. Throwing bricks through the window is not his style. <laughs> I can't think of anybody else. Or rather, I can think of everybody else. About half the city, actually. I get it. Plus 20, yeah! Didn't we I already ask this? The mob boss and the pussycat, eh? How did you even meet? Huh? Are you trying to piss me off, Corp? What? So I accidentally let some big secret slip out? No, that's good. A simple answer would work. <sighs> you know, Natasha, she's both connoisseur and muse. Uh, uh, so, uh, how was it? Uh, well, when was it exactly? You don't remember? That's strange. Ah, yeah. The millions, of course. It was like another lifetime. It happened right here. Only this place was called the millions back then. <laughs> she was a dancer. Behind the scenes, I arranged opportunities for her on the big stage. Yeah, maybe she still doesn't know it was me. Then one day, I invited her for a drink with a promise that if she was willing to meet me, I'd buy the place for her. I guess oh. she was willing. The next day, she had the club in her name. Well, nom nom. That is romantic. Yeah, there are many kinds of romance, Birdman. There's cheap no and there's clue. expensive. It's chocolate, you can't have it. I feel like they're not really an item. He just likes her and he gave her the club and she was like, okay. Do you live in the same house as Natasha? Oh, you're really something. Natasha's a free woman, but mostly, yes. Okay. And my place in Gold Town. Gold Town. She has her own kind of a weekend house. How often does she use the weekend house? Yeah, every other weekend. Roughly. So I see. That's very important information. Yeah, if you say so. So, that's what I'm heating. It's a cookie with a layer of cookie and a layer of um, brownie. But I don't like the mix of them, so I'm trying to eat the cookie on its own and then the brownie. <laughs> So Natasha feels like she's in grave danger, yet she's still going out alone. Yeah, I know what you're getting at, but I'm 100% sure of her loyalty. She's gone out very rarely since this started, and mostly in my company. Yeah, you know, I'm not sure if you do, but uh, in our social circles, banquets and dinners are frequent. Hmm, illegal gambling nights. What? You got me there. Yeah, you're right. Natasha is crazy about the roulette wheel. Always putting it all on the red, right? Yeah, you're a real rotten bastard, Sonny. Although, yeah, always on the red. Yeah, right. So, what? can we meet your Does lady? Me? I don't see why not. But first, please, listen to her sing. She's on soon. All right. Hell yeah! Adrenaline and chicken will be back in action. So a bit weary, but I'm tarnished. Good work. Continue. I mean, it's not a hundred percent, but thank you for your good time. Good enough. Be seen. I have no doubt about that. Unfortunately. Hey, uh, we should uh, grab a coffee or something, Olivia. Marty. You know? For old time's sake. Pleasure to meet you, gentlemen. Goodbye. Oh. Please take a seat. The show's gonna start soon. Mm. Brownie. Cutscene. Or something. 
Smitten by the kitten. <laughs> Look, Leo, it's you. What the heck? Less is more, Mr. Featherland. Ahem. You were amazing, dear. As always. As always. Could you be my little furball and fetch me a cocktail? But of course. Eden will be back soon. We'll have a few minutes to talk. Then he'll end the conversation and throw you both out. <laughs> With all due respect, ma'am, we're not that easy to get rid of. Doesn't matter who's trying, believe me. <sighs> Doesn't matter, he'll do it. That's why I'm telling you. I don't want a scene. My room's upstairs. Meet me there in 20 minutes. Come alone, Sonny. You'd be too conspicuous otherwise. Hey, mm -hmm. I understand. You know, they call him Target Marty at the station. I don't have time, Mr. Featherland. Not sure thing, Natasha. I'll come to your room. Three knocks, a short pause, then another three. I'll be waiting. Go oh, weird. before he comes back. Phil. I knew she was trouble. No. The first time I saw her, she wore danger like a perfume. It was simply part of her being, and it attracted no. me like light attracts the moth people. I wanted to be the microphone. As she whispers her melodies, or the pillow she rests her feet on while reading some cheap romance. I wanted to be her nightdress, barely touching, barely covering her marble skin. But I was a cop, and a lifetime wouldn't be enough to rid myself of what a woman like her hides under her makeup. Keep your distance, Sonny. Just keep your distance. Oh, so we're we're in there. Okay. Gee, that is a uh, unique picture and kind of daring. I admit I've never seen anything <laughs> quite like it before. Yes. I admit it's a little daring. I keep it. It evokes good memories. A precious old friend of mine. A most wonderful artist. He's got an eye, that's for sure, considering his model. Was that supposed to be some kind of compliment? I don't know. I don't compliment often. Not on purpose, anyway. Oh, you're funny. Is he? This woman's aware of her charm, and she knows how to use it. A rare and dangerous combination. This woman... I bet 
that you spend a lot of your time what? staring into the Are you calling her vain? Do you even recognize yourself? Maybe you were trying to be rude, but you know, that's a very good question. I was just trying to be rude. Oh, really? Well, then I'm sorry. What? Don't mention it. There's this weird thing on top of the brownie that I do not want to eat. It's really gelatinous. So this is where the magic happens, right? The big transformation. Every woman needs a little magic. Fuck off with that. Every man needs some illusion. You're right there, Angel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is where the ma you're right. You got a beautiful place here, Natasha. A peaceful little island on the ocean of madness with very classy furniture. Ibn likes me surrounded by elegant Two. things, you know. You're an elegant thing yourself, sweetheart. Oh, that's charming. Thank you, detective. Light is the brother of darkness. More like its lover, don't you think? Anyway, I thought I hired a detective, not a poet. I'm not a poet, Natasha. Just a fool. Oh, what an act. Light. More Shush. Do we just talk to her again? This woman's aware of her charm. That all. This woman. How do you like your bourbon, Mr. Featherland? In a glass. But thanks, I had a couple before I came. I feel like this may be a long night. I hope it doesn't bother you if I have one myself. I get offended if women don't drink in my company. Oh, you are a funny guy. So I've been told. Anyway, uh, lovely room. Yes. Look, Mr. Sutherland. It's sunny. Saves us a lot of time. Okay, Sonny. So, why am I here? You know, men tend to babble in my presence. It must be exhausting. It is. But you're not the type to beat around the bush. Is it too banal if I tell you it's an occupational hazard? Terribly. So can I start the unpleasant questions? I've asked you here so you can do what you do best. Really? I thought you asked because you wanted me to investigate for you. But if you'd rather be drinking... Oh, you do have a sense of humor. How reassuring. Only if I'm a bit hungover. That's usually quite common. Oh, please drop the act about being the alcoholic, heartbroken ex-cop, Sonny. It would undoubtedly suit you, but um, I've seen you scanning my room. From the second you set foot in here, you started working, and everything I say gets sorted in your brain. Am I right? That's a bit of an exaggeration, but yeah, it's something like that. Well then, Sonny, come at me. Oh, well, that's something I don't hear often. With pleasure. Seriously, how did you find me? Not yeah, even my boss knows where I live. Although I didn't include <coughs> Ibn in my little private mission, some of his resources were still available to me. We're yeah, waiting just for you. There's someone at the station working for him. Someone? You're so cute when you're playing naive. Have you ever had dealings with the police? Not in this city. Here we are. Otherwise. Does it really matter, Mr. Featherland? Maybe it does. More than a little. I'm afraid you'll have to unravel that thread yourself. But you will find nothing but a dead end. I didn't listen to any of that. But yeah, no. We'll do it when you're there, for sure. Okay, let's question her, I guess. Natasha is a confident woman. I can exploit that. But 
I must be careful. Every part of her oozes danger. Danger. No, it's it's fun to do it on stream and to have a bunch of them to do. So we'll probably wait until Arthur is here and do it to, together. That was a remarkable performance. Oh. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Do you perform here frequently? You're also the owner, if I'm not mistaken. Sadly, I don't have the time. But the stage still calls my name. And I perform just a few times a year. And always with a new song. So that was all the excitement. I have many admirers, if that's what you mean. Yes. Wouldn't the... Wouldn't the place would have been <coughs> packed if she only performed like a few times a year? We already talked about that. Yeah, the music one we stopped doing altogether. And we're we're pretty good at the game doll. The one with the with the like game image. Maybe I should say that, because this is kind of awkward. The picture on the wall is quite daring. Only if you knew how old I was at the time. Jeez. I think I'm on a slippery slope here. Come on, don't be shy. Ask me. All right. How old were you? <laughs> You're quite a player, aren't you? Life is anything but a game, detective. Detective. Right, you tell me. Plus five, okay. Um... This sounds like it's too like jumping to another subject too abruptly, abruptly. So maybe I'll get the, I'll take this one. In. Hmm. Do you think one of your admirers might be behind the threat? Those who admire me usually idolize me. No, I don't think it's one of them. You know, the soul of an animal is extremely complicated. Sometimes all it takes is a bad look or some small rejection to turn admiration into hate. That's a stillborn theory. No one hates me if they once loved me, Mr. Detective. Ah, I see. No, um, the the video game music one. There's a hurdle for video game music. And it's always like some, like, I know a lot of like indie games and like kind of obscure games. But these, the music they choose are. And sometimes you write the right answer and it doesn't appear like we had a Dark Souls one. Where I figured it was Dark Souls, and um, and it didn't work. It wasn't one of the options, so it's really not well done, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You may think I'm irresponsible, but I didn't keep any of it. I simply couldn't bear to look at them. 
Didn't you think maybe the police would need it? I didn't think I needed the police. Moreover, do you think the girlfriend of Ibn Whistler could ever turn to the cops? I see. So, what about me? How do I come into the picture? It sounds ridiculous, but you're my last hope. That does sound ridiculous, but I accept my ego and uh, old habits. You can't do anything else, can you? Something like that. A leopard can't change its spots. Deep behind the diamond skin lies the truth. It doesn't matter how hard Natasha's trying to hide it. She's scared. Now I must concentrate to finally find out what I want to know. Um, no, sweetie, you're too hard on yourself. Fun. I know I hate it too, it's really frustrating. That's what happened with the Dark Souls one. I was like, I know this song, I know. I, I don't know where from though. I knew from the first like second of it. I had to look into my, um, my the music I have on my phone, just scrolling through the artists and the albums. And I immediately knew it was it when I saw Dark Souls, but just couldn't think of it for some reason. What was in those threats, exactly? The message itself is not a threat. It's just a word. But a word again and again is threatening. Exactly. So? You really don't have any idea which word could be used for a woman like me? I, I don't guess I fucking do. know. Yes, I think I know what it could be. Do I? Whore. What? Oh. The cat's got your tongue. Am I right? You heard it. I said what you were thinking, and yes, that was in the message. That was printed on the paper and painted on my wall, in giant red letters. Well, thank you for your honesty. Enthusiasm a little. Doesn't keeping two irons in the fire give me a better chance? But you don't have to worry. He didn't find anything. And he's not interested anymore. No matter how much I offer to pay him. Why? You'll have to ask him. I think I'll do that. Okay, we're doing good. to know that usually yes but i've got nothing to go on and oh shit much. that's not the right Maybe answer but first i want to know if you'll even okay. accept my case i'm here aren't i that's true but i must know if i can trust you the proof of the pudding is in the eating i wish it was that simple Natasha is a mysterious woman, but I must gouge out at least one of her secrets. Enough games. It's time to know why I'm here. Oh, minus 10. I fucked up. 
Oh, we're just doing Let's that then. Beating about the bush. How do you know Molly? I'm prepared for that question, but it's still not easy. You knew very well that if you threw in the name of my wife, I'd come to you no matter how vague and suspicious the case was. I just want to know if you're simply a manipulator or you're really that desperate. I really know her. I'm not lying. Oh, really? How? Were you a nurse, too? Oh, forgive me, but I don't think so. Don't be rude and so cynical, Sonny. I'm sorry, but that's me when feline claws are at my throat. Molly is an old and good friend of mine. She has nothing to do with this, but I knew that if I didn't mention it to you, you wouldn't have come. Yeah, Natasha, you're right there. I knew you were a decent fowl, that you would help me. That's what you're famous for. Don't go there. Flattery doesn't work. Look, forgive me. I shouldn't have brought your wife into this. You're right, you shouldn't have. But to be honest, I don't think she's my wife anymore. On paper she is, but I haven't seen her in years. Yikes. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Really? did i knew i checked you out before i sent deborah pluck me this case pluck is me. getting more and more intriguing that's a bit aggressive isn't it That mean? Whoever they are and whatever it takes. Not exactly, but something like that. You know, if I didn't see the speck of fear behind the confidence shining in your eyes, I wouldn't take the case. I'm not afraid. You're terrified, Natasha. Don't be ashamed. You must solve this. As soon as you can. Money's not an issue. No, oh, sixty percent decent. What? <sighs> Should I retry? <laughs> no. I'll probably replay this game to get all the achievements, anyways. Threat. Just one more thing, Sonny. Natasha? Please, come to 37 Rochester Street in Flower Town tonight. I'd like to show you something that could be of a great help in your investigation. I was afraid this was coming. Why there? Why not here and now? It's something I keep hidden there. I won't take the risk of Ibn or one of his men seeing it. Isn't Ibn too dangerous to keep secrets from? Sonny, a woman is naked without her secrets. Hmm. I knew you would understand. Oh yeah, I understand everything. So, when do we meet? The night is almost over. I'll be there in an hour. Don't be early, and don't be too late. Look, Natasha. You know... Please, this is very important to me. Sure, I get it. I'll be there. Thank you. Until Thanks. later, Natasha. Goodbye, Sonny. Okay. We got a bunch of info. We got a key. Mm. Mm. All right. Four new clues. Ibn's trying very hard to change the subject when it comes to threats. He obviously knows more than he's willing to tell. Natasha is afraid and her fear is genuine, but she isn't tell me, telling me everything regardless, and I don't like it. Natasha has invited me to her weekend house to show me something. 
In any other situation, I would be glad about it, but in this case, I'm worried. The threat, or rather the threatening word in the messages sent to Natasha is simply whore. It's brief, but says a lot regardless. Natasha... Natasha is a mysterious woman indeed, and seems dangerous too, but she's undoubtedly, undoubtedly in serious trouble. The question is, is she the source of the problem, or is it someone else? It seems Filmar also used to work for Natasha, but he got out of the cave before the ground got too hot. Anyway, he kept a piece of evidence, as any good PI would do, which could be very useful to us. Eben's currently busy with some kind of meat substitute business. That's what he and his assistant told us anyways. He was acting quite strange and he hesitated when I mentioned how he met Natasha. It would be interesting to hear the story from another point of view. Oh shit, that's what I was trying... supposed to like find out. So, okay, I think uh, I'm just gonna take a quick break. And uh, yeah. Go pee and whatever you want to do. <laughs> BRB!
burb. That's not what I wanted at all. That's what I want. Celebratory hands in the air. All right. We'll talk to Filmar. Supposed to be waiting in the car. I was bored to tears, Sonny. I also thought maybe something happened to you. You My thought baby. Natasha had eaten me alive, huh? Mm. Well, who knows? You're such a fragile little thing. I'm too old for this, Marty. Then next time, leave the dangerous predators to me. I didn't mean that, Marty. I meant you. Oh. Hey, big nose. Where did Unfortunately, I don't know, big face. <laughs> but I wouldn't tell you even if I did. Really? Say, did anyone ever tell you that you're an irritating piece of shit? <clears throat> uh, anything else, dear sirs? Why are they so mean to that guy? Have a good night, long face. <sighs> mm, I don't like it. Don't be shy, Sonny. Still talking to creepy little squirrel girl. So, have you talked to Natasha? In fact, yes. She was uh, kind of mysterious. I bet she was. You know, I've never abandoned a case before. Not voluntarily, anyway. But that woman. You're uh, too old for this shit, huh? <laughs> As you say, pal. That's exactly how I felt, too. Before you leave, take this not that. and examine it closely. What is it? The reason I've decided all of this is not worth it for me. Wow, oh. well, that sounds encouraging. Take care of yourselves, guys. This case, maybe it goes deeper than you'd think. <clears throat> oh, that makes my feathers stand on end. Pal, <laughs> brokers, you're safe while I'm here. Said the glare. Okay, okay, I didn't say anything. We stepped into it, didn't we? What's that? We stepped into it, didn't we? Molly. What the heck is this? Are these names and numbers? I don't know what that means. What kind of a list is this? Exactly. I have no idea, but I don't even want to find Why do they all act so scared? Top dogs. Maybe they play oh. cards together. Sure. That's very likely. Anyway, I pried this list out of a dead man's hand. Somebody dropped him outside the forest, a few miles from the Wessler residence. I should have known she was keeping secrets. Keeping secrets? She's the secret herself. Thanks, Filmar. This could be important. Uh, don't thank me. Maybe I've just signed your death warrant. Oh, thank you, sir. Ah, oh, shut up, Marty. Take care of yourself, old... <laughs> the truth is, Ibn's a dirty bastard. But he's likable. It must be his charisma that snared Natasha. Maybe there's more to it than simple wild love. Mm, who knows? Animals commit the dirtiest of deeds for wild love. Oh yeah, I didn't mm -hmm. think about it, but it's a cat and a rat. We stepped into it, didn't we? That's an understatement. All of these names belong to the upper crust. Yeah, I noticed. It's only some sex cult, if you're lucky. <laughs> hmm. Don't even go there, Marty. Yeah, all right. Wonderful girl. Either I'm gonna kill her or I'm beginning to like her. That's funny. I swear I've heard that before. Huh. To be honest, me too. So, Natasha invited us to her weekend house. That's either very good news or very bad news. 50%. That's not that bad, is it? That's an admirable attitude. Attitude, yeah, he's got that. Most of the time, I think that's all he's got. Hey! Hey! Who is this woman, anyway? She's 
just like Ibn Shadow. Nobody knows anything about her. I don't know if she has anything to do with the case. I thought he knew about her. An eye on her anyway. Uh, more women, more trouble. You Fuck you. <laughs> Even the sight of young women make me tired. Anyway, most people say she's the rat's lover too. But next to Natasha, I doubt he'd want her. Anyway, Pussycat would have already torn her to shreds. Could be. I only recognize a few names on the list Filmar shoved into my hand, but all of them belong to the respected elite of Clawville. It could be a wedding roaster, but I doubt that's the case. The list with all those imposing names must have something to do with Natasha, and thus with the threats too. What, what makes you think that? Like, it was in the hand of a dead man near Wessler's house, I guess? But, I don't know. They all look like so scared of this simple little case, but uh, the weekend house. Tasha Katzenko's weekend house. It stands in the cleanest and most separated quarter of the city in Flowerville. I'm curious about what she's hiding there. Mm. I'm getting tired. Oh! Wessler's secretary, Olivia Black. She's still here. You think she knows anything useful? It's yeah. worth a try, Marty, but let me do the talking. She's not very fond of you. Eee, what can I say? You know, back in the day, I flew from tree to tree. I was a free bird. Maybe I was playing her a bit. Oh, it's you. How can I help you, gentlemen? Look, we really don't want to dig into your personal life, but... But what exactly is my relationship with Mr. Wessler? And how close am I to him? You don't beat around the bush, ma'am. Well, actually, I remember. I don't have time to chit-chat, Mr. Featherland. So yes, I'm not one to beat around the bush. And no, I'm not slipping with Mr. Wessler. <laughs> well, thanks for the uh, quick and straight answer. Anything else? Ooh, I can ask stuff. Look, uh, Olivia, you know, last time... Please, Marty, there's no need. Uh, yes, there is. I know I wasn't a gentleman, and I know I should have called you, but I was young and... You don't have to explain. I wasn't waiting long for your call. I forgot about it fast. That's good to hear, I suppose. I'm sorry we disturbed you. Not at all. Have a nice evening, gentlemen. No, no, I'm not done to ask you questions. Do you come here often, Olivia? No, not really. Well, okay. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> what? You know, Ibn's not as ferocious as you'd think. On the contrary, he's become very different recently. I heard. Don't you find that weird? A sudden change of heart? Sometimes an animal just has enough. Fed up and wants a change. I deeply respect that. Well, thank you for your honesty, ma'am. What's your relationship with Miss Natasha Katsenko? We've talked a bit, that's all. There's no uh, tension between you? You know, the pretty secretary. Well, thank you for your compliment, Mr. Featherland. No, no tension. Natasha's an intelligent woman. I respect her. Is that mutual? That I can't tell. If I'm not mistaken, Natasha has a weekend house in Flowerville. Yeah, that's right. Can you tell me anything about it? I've never been there. Allegedly, it's beautiful. Elegant and luxurious. Just like Natasha herself. I'm 
I'm sorry we disturbed you. Not at all. Ooh. What a lovely kitten. It's up to him too. What a lovely Excuse me, pal. My name is Santino Featherland. Eh. Gabriel, what do you want? Chickens. Do you happen to know where Mr. Wessler went? Do you take me for a fool? Get out of here while I'm in a good mood, birds. Birds. Okay. Thanks, big boy. <laughs> Listen, pal. Uh, maybe if uh... did I stutter, chicken? Get lost. Listen, pal. Did I stutter? All right, all right. Remember that other case? With the, uh, oh fuck! I missed right. it. Wait. Remember that other case with the turtle and the <laughs> rabbit fella? It's so oh, silly. Gosh, Marty, where do you dig these out? Uh, my mind is a bottomless pit, my friend. Was the rabbit a runner? <laughs> and that turtle was what, his buddy or his dealer, actually. Ah, yeah, you're right. We found the rabbit near the river with a missing leg. Jeez. Brutal stuff. Two missing legs, actually. But yeah. What happened with the turtle in the end? It's a little bit blue. <laughs> Your bottomless pit of a mind is a dark and sad little place. The turtle thought he would run faster if he ate the legs of the rabbit. You know what? This city's seriously fucked up. It is, Marty. Marty. Remember that other case? No, shush. With the turtle and the rabbit fella? That's why I clicked it. <laughs> Game. You know, Sonny, I love Laura. And I swear I'm gonna marry her one day. But I gotta admit, that Natasha woman has turned even my head. I wouldn't mess with Laura if I were you, pal. Wouldn't even think about it. There are few women as dangerous as her. And not just because she's a predator. Uh, you're telling me. Telling me? The moon hangs in the sky. <laughs> ah, this is the life, huh? He looks like. <laughs> Already heard all of that. Okay. Oh, I have new stuff again about people. After the show, Ibn left the Sark Club suspiciously fast. Marty dated Olivia for a short period of time. That's it. I don't want to know more about this. Oops. Gabriel. Links quiet and deadly. More likely from St St Stoonia. This bobcat is most likely Ibn Wessler's goon. Goon. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So, next is a weekend house, but I can still go to Hop Dog. Clovel PD. So, I'll just I'll just do that. Ooh, a nice cup of coffee a la Zip, huh? We're not here for the coffee, Marty. Zip always knows more than what he lets on. It'd be worth interrogating the old <laughs> trash man. Trash. If he forgave us for wrecking his joint last time. He'll never forgive us, Marty, but we have Marty him so many times he's not gonna have any choice. I hope you're right, old bird. Still nothing to say. Everything alright, old man? If there's something we can do for you, uh, just say so, okay? Well, alright. Hey, old man. Still not. Ah, is that the kite and blues? I think. I yeah. This quiet. You know, I understand why Zip escaped here when he got out of his shady dealings. It's not possible to get all the way out, Marty. What? So, you also stay a cop even after retirement? Every cop stays a cop. It burns itself into you. That's good to know. 
So am I gonna stay a cop forever? Sorry, Marty. Well, that's that. The Hive. City of Incense. Oh, I hope we never investigate there again. We won't, Marty. This is our last job. What? Don't say that, boss. The Hive. Don't we don't say... No matter how big the city is, Marty, I feel more and more like I'm living in prison. Hey, it's not too late to skip off, boss. You only have 121 days left, right? 120. Then, retirement. So, what's keeping you? I don't know. I could have left even earlier. But the city won't let me go. You're afraid of change, huh? Everyone's afraid of change, on a certain level. But no, that's not what I'm talking about. The city just keeps pulling me back. If it wasn't for this case, <laughs> I could have drunk myself to death. Even the afterlife is better than Clawville. Sometimes I think that. Uh, I think you're beyond help, boss. If you gaze into the city, the city will gaze into you. Okay. <laughs> You get oh. Praise be unto you, O great neon god. Hallowed be thy name and thy pancakes. Amen. I once dreamed that his eyes were moving. <laughs> he just looked into me. At least it was just a dream for you. I always feel like he's following me with his gaze, even now as we speak. Yeah. I once dreamed that his up. This makes the bile rise in my walk. Yeah. Me okay, sorry, I just like to click everything and. Oh, jeez, boys! Out of two thousand joints in the city, I had to end up here, huh? Hello to you too, Zip. How's it hanging? I had no problems until now. Ah, oh, don't be such a drama queen. We just want to ask you a couple of questions, then we're out of here. And we won't even trash your place this time. What do you say? <laughs> I say let's get it over with very, very quickly, chickens. Relax, chickens. pal. We'll be as fast as a hummingbird. I'm not your pal. And you're as far from a hummingbird as I'm from a polar bear. Oh, come on, Zip. Don't be so hard on yourself. Ooh, a new person. Oh, I got new... New songs. This is what they call... It's gonna be trouble, I'm telling you. Things like this make the world go crazy. We need a little global insanity every few decades, Sonny. Better a fashion... Yeah, maybe. Yeah. It's because of pigeons like of all yeah. Almost ham and tomato. I wouldn't eat here if my lung Wise words, pal. Wise words, pal. You know what? I you know what? What's the scribbler doing here? Sniffing some juicy Ooh. story. I think I still owe him a great big left hook. Oh, what yeah. did I do this time? Oh, nothing. Just since I first met him, I wanted to punch him in the face. I can understand that. Timothy. We don't have to talk to him, right? Impossible to avoid, Marty. Not if he hasn't gone blind or deaf since we last saw him. Timothy Saltwater is the meddler journalist of the Clawville Chronicle. Now, it wouldn't be a problem in itself, but unfortunately, he's a huge fan and the architect of the chicken police legend. Timothy Saltwater. Okay. Gods, he's in even worse shape than the last time we saw him. Well, Marty, aging is like that. And while we're at it, looks like you put on a few pounds. Wow. What? Who, me? Don't make 
make me laugh? I weigh exactly the same as I've always done. Yeah, sure. I can see we're not particularly welcome. I wonder why. I can see we're... I okay. wonder why. So? Out with it. Stop winding me up. I'm almost consumed by all this excitement. We've just come from the Czar Club, Zip. Who do you think we met? Uh, if I can guess one, I'd say, uh, was it His Majesty Hobart Ibn Wessler, the Rat Prime himself? Bet on, pal. What a surprise. So, what do you want to know? Just because I don't know anything. Of course you don't. Just a couple questions. Go on, boys. Hurry up, will you? What's up, Zip? Quiet night, I see. And what's Timothy doing here? That's exactly what I asked him when he wound up here. But yeah, he's a regular nowadays. He must be sniffing some kind of story about the hive. About the riots? Have they reached here already? I ain't seen nothing. More cops around here, as you can see for yourself. <laughs> We're not on duty, Zip. It's still the same. A cop's a cop. A lot come by, but besides beating up bugs, nothing much happens. It will Jeez. Be. I can sniff it in the air. If you say so, Sonny, your sense of smell is better than mine. <laughs> Doubt it. Once. Huh? What more do you want? Is it forbidden to stand around at your place? Go stand around somewhere else in the city. Wow. Look what we found, Zip. Furry, hell. Who'd you beat to death for that? Beat to death? Who do you think we are? We simply confiscated it. Yo, sneaky broilers. I'll give you 50 bucks for it. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. It's worth three times that. Oh, come on. Give me a break. Tough luck, Trash Panda. <laughs> we also ran into Filmar. Filmar? Who's that? A grumpy old raggedy-ass hawk. His manners are even worse than mine. Ring a bell. You mean Marlo? Was Marlo. Now he goes by Phil Marlo. Oh, I see. So that means he's still alive? Yeah, I'm almost not surprised. The old guy has a reputation of being indestructible, huh? He is. And he gave us something that could mean something. Uh huh. Look at this, Zip. Holy crap, what's this? The guest list at a king's birthday party. Hey, that's not even a bad guess. What do you make of it? This piece of paper's from so high up where I'd never been myself, boys. So don't ask me. All right. We spoke to Natasha. She's scared. Well, it's not good life insurance to be the girl of the most powerful gangster in the city. It's not about that. Someone's been writing offensive messages to her. She feels threatened. I only know that every second husband in the city wants to have her, and every second wife wants to wring her neck because of that. Nothing else. Thanks, Zip, but we're not any further ahead. But not further back, right? All right. What do you have to say? Hello, Timothy. Scribblers don't celebrate New Year's. Hello, boys. <laughs> what a pleasure to see you answering your question no not really not me anyway i'm always where the story is mm-hmm and mm -hmm. where's the story now i can't see it anywhere it just stepped through the door pal oh you mean us well i think i'll have to disappoint you the chicken police are back together i, I can't let that go without an ink stain am i right no timmy you can we're not working we're just having a little fun that's all Mm, I'm not buying that, boys. Boys. You'll have to, Tim. Eh, we'll see about that. Is that rag you worked for still around, Tim? You mean the most read and highest ranking newspaper of the city, the Clawville Chronicle? Oh, yeah, that's what it's called. <laughs> I see that you still have your famous sense of humor, Sonny. Such a joy. <laughs> yeah, I do. So, how about you tell me what you're really doing here? Not a chance, Timbo. The truth is, we're already leaving. 
Sorry, pal. Maybe next time. So, how about you tell me not sorry, pal? Mine. Loud, annoying, and overly enthusiastic. And unfortunately, he is the number one fan of the chicken police. Scribbler team, Tim. Real name, Timoth Timothy Saltwater. He's a douchebag, a real nosy bastard, and an annoying little shit. But still, I have to admit, he's a very be the best investigative reporter in Clawville. Back in the day, he had a big part in the chicken police, becoming what we were for a long time. Real stars cops. Alright. Okay. We're visiting the PD. And then we're done. I don't know, Sonny. What exactly are we doing here? Just Let's one hope more. we can learn something about Natasha and Evan by sniffing around before we visit that weekend house in Flowerville. Learn something from Phyllis and Roy's? Well, I wasn't exactly thinking about them. Yeah, figures. Figures. Do you remember our old squad car? <sighs> ended up in a swamp. Huh. I could never get over that. He was the best partner I ever had. Wow. That's uh good to know, boss. Truth hurts, pal. Never mind. I'll live with it. What was its name? The old car, I mean. Bessie? Uh, Nessa? Tessa. You know, like my daughter. I knew your daughter's Tessa, but well, wait. Did <laughs> you name your daughter after our old car? Please. What's wrong with that? Oh jeez. Even this car reminds me of Tessa. Psst, okay. Bullet holes. Was that here before? That wasn't us, right? Not that one, Marty. Gee, honestly, sometimes I find it difficult to keep track of all the places we wrecked during our ten years together. Just nine, Marty. Nine. <clears throat> Have you ever fired a Tommy gun, Marty? You mean today? You're right. Stupid question. <laughs> this happened when that old bloodhound, Blood Boil, was promoted to chief of police. The Castilia clan thought this would frighten the old hound, but they were so wrong. This was the last message of the Castilia clan before Blood Boil had them all put away for good. This was the last message. Damn. Why aren't we on this poster next to Blood Boil? Because he hates us, Marty. Oh, yeah, right. You would have looked kind of great on that poster. Hey, thanks. You would have looked kind of great. Hey, that's nice. Honor, strength, and unity. Pigs, ruffians, and vigilantes. Mm. Honor, strength, pigs, ruff. those two gonna stand out here all night long? I don't know, but I wouldn't put it past them. They're operating by some incomprehensible logic, at least for simple birds like us. I wish we had the smarts to understand. Maybe one day, Marty. Maybe one day. You remember Operation Double Spike, Marty? <laughs> Furry gods, how could I ever forget? <laughs> Furry the gods. The PD was laughing at the poor bastards for weeks. Every workplace needs guys like these. Nothing would be the same without them. They may be idiots, but their hearts are in the right place. Well, more or less. Probably less. They may be idiots. How's it going tonight, boys? Boys? So far, Sonny. But now that you're rolling together again, I suppose we'll have some excitement to look forward to. What do you mean? Are you kidding? Last time you shot up a theater, and if I remember correctly, each other. <laughs> <laughs> that was a uh, complicated evening. I sure <laughs> complicated. Do you want to hear some juicy gossip, boys? 
hallways. Deputy Malloy got so drunk, he fell asleep on the toilet. It took them an hour to find him. Stupid oaf. So that's why Blood Boil was here. Yeah, I and he's in a pretty sure mood because he had to come in on New Year's Eve. Just our luck. No, no, no. Your luck is that he's too busy to care about you two lovers right now. <laughs> right now. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, keep up the good work, boys. Or this hanging around thing you do. Thanks, chickens. Well, keep up or thanks. More stuff. Monica. Do you remember Monica ever going on holiday? Honestly, I can't recall. She's with Sometimes the bad guys. I decide if it's admirable or if I feel sorry for her. Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> More stuff. But is it selfish to say I'd be hurt if one day I didn't find her here? Yeah, I feel the same. That's all right then. You know, if there's anyone who knows anything about anything, it's gonna be her. Kind of long-winded, but I agree. You know, it kind of long. So soon? That was fast. Almost a record. Sorry, Mon. We're just here for a little uh, info. When are you not here for that, boys? How about wish me a happy birthday for a change? You what? Is it your birthday today? Of course not. Don't be silly, Marty. You know exactly when it is. We've talked about it a dozen times. Yeah, <laughs> of course I know. Yeah. <clears throat> so, um, could you help us with this and that? Of course, boys, but be quick about it. I'm in over my head with paperwork and blood boils breathing down my neck. We'll be quick like a hurricane. You're very lucky, boys. You just missed the boss by three minutes. Right now, he's trying to get Malloy out of the toilet. Still can't hold his liquor, huh? Neither on or off duty, but today he is sloshed. Well, he's a water buffalo, isn't he? He knows how to swim. Uh, no, Sonny, just a buffalo. The two are totally different things. What? Listen, doll. We have some questions. Doll. Make it quick, boys. I'm busy. Come, call me. Doll. <laughs> Guess who we met today in person, Mon? King Hector the Third. Even better, the one who commands the king. Wait a minute, Hobart Wessler? Damn right, Hobart Ibn Wessler in the flesh. Wow, and you're still alive. That's quite an accomplishment. But, but seriously, have you heard that he wants to get out of the black market business? Allegedly, he's trying to clear his name with some kind of new meat substitute. His name's gonna be rather difficult to clear. It's a heroic and impossible venture. I haven't heard about it, but it's an interesting addition to what I know. Which is? Eben's been acting very strange lately. And he left most of his business dealings to one of his goons, Mickey. Also known as the Butcher, the Mongol, and the Slayer. Yeah, we want to Sounds like a nice guy. Him. That's all I know, boys. I know it's not very much, but it's something, I guess. I'll keep my ears open. Thanks, Mon. You don't have ears. You're a bird. Listen, Mon. A reliable old friend shoved this into my hand. Could you take a quick glance at it? Hmm. Quite an imposing list. What could those numbers mean? It could be a date, even, but no, this is something else. That's what we were thinking, too, and we got nowhere. But you see a lot of documents. So is there anything familiar about this? Unfortunately not, boys. The names are imposing indeed, but based on this, it could be almost anything. The richest of the rich get together on all kinds of excuses. Huh, it must be a secret cult. It could be, of course, but also anything else. I'm sorry I couldn't help you more. Ah, don't mention it, Mon. Thanks for your time. Or, wait a minute. Ooh! There is something. Oh, stop teasing us, Mon. I'm sure you've noticed that all the names in the list are men, right? 
Yeah, uh, of course we noticed. Uh, thanks for the observation, Monica. Don't mention it. I'm just a receptionist. <laughs> we saw a pretty good show at the Czar Club tonight. Good for you, I guess. Natasha? Natasha. She performed a new song. She also sang about why she called us there. Or rather, me. And? That's confidential, Dollface. Anyway, I can't help wondering about that woman. Her past is a mystery, and I couldn't draw much out of her in person, either. Women like her always have something to hide, Sonny. I think that's exactly what makes men fall head over heels for them. Well, I know another broad who's all mysterious. Oh, yeah? What's her name? I'll look her up if we have a file on her. Marty, shut up. Oh, you mean me, right? All mysterious, yep. full of secrets, and grace. I didn't even hear that, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have a file on a woman called Olivia Blackwig? She's currently working as Ibn Wessler's assistant. Hmm, we don't have a file on her, but there are a few Blackwigs that could be related to her. Mountain Goat, Crow, or Cayman? Crow, around 30 to 35. A very pretty socialite. Maybe we have a catch then. Theodore Blackwig was a rather influential banker until he went bankrupt. He died a few years back, but his daughter could have ended up in the same social circles as Evan. And since they lost their money, she took a job as his assistant. Yeah, that would fit the picture. But it's a big city, Sonny. There are maybe more than one Crow family with a Blackwig name living here. Hmm. Thanks, Mon. I'm glad I could Info. help you, as always. If it doesn't take a lot of my time, that is. We know, we know. We're not even here anymore. Good old Bosco's slowly becoming the same piece of furniture we are. Sure. You remember when he was just a little green lap dog? For a while, we even had to babysit him. He always was a talented little pooch, I have to admit. But the filth that seeped into everything in Clawville has reached him, too. It reaches everyone one way or another, right? One way or another, it does, Marty. You had a fight once, didn't you? At one of the winter solstice parties. Yeah, we both drank too much. It was over a manatee named Margaret. That was before Laura, of course. I haven't seen many fights that memorable in my life. Yeah. And the girl didn't go with either of us. She was a wise man. Yeah, I was gonna say. Is it worth talking to him? Who knows? Maybe he heard something interesting. Is it worth... Who knows? Hey, big guy. Hey, Cox. What's up? Back here so soon? You get nostalgic all of a sudden, Sonny? I'd rather be anywhere else than here, Bosco. But we're sniffing around on a case. Hoo-hoo. Are you trespassing again? Who? Us? What are you thinking? Ah, uh, just an old case. Still open. Not official, but not active either. We're not bothering anyone. You know, old habits die hard. I know, I know. I'm just messing with you. So, how can I help you? The boss? He's not in a good mood. Molloy got so drunk he pissed himself. Jeez. And we just put the cherry on top, huh? Mostly you, Sonny. No offense. None taken. I'm used to it. Everything rolls right off my feathers. Don't go stirring up a shitstorm, okay? We're gonna have enough on our plates tonight. We'll do what we can, Bosco, but I can't promise anything. Is it worth Who knows? Don't go stirring. We'll do what. Stirring shitstorms left and right. Do you still remember, Philmar? Do you mean Philip? Of course I remember. He's got quite the reputation with that Philmar alias. We just met him. Small world, huh? Do you know what he's up to these days? Yeah, as far as I know, he's investigating petty blackmail cases and sneaking after poor bastards cheating on their wives. What do you mean, poor bastards? 
Did he get mixed up in something that stirred up a storm recently? Yeah, I don't know about that. We haven't seen him at the PD for a while. He's usually a frequent visitor. Why? Did he run into some fishy business again? Possible, Bosco. But I'm not sure he'd want to make the same mistake. Wise decision. Listen, Bosco. What do you make of this list? Maybe it's the guest list of some fancy ball. These are some rather influential names, the ones I recognize anyway. Movie stars, politicians, a few names from the Council of Twelve, even, if I'm not mistaken. You're not. Are you Ooh. like me with them? Because if you are, I'll gladly accept a nice big juicy bone in exchange for my silence. Stop screwing around, Bosco. It has nothing to do with our case. Which is what, exactly? Mm, we're still not gonna tell you. Listen, Bosco, what have you heard about that singer, Natasha Katsenko? <laughs> you mean that little bimbo fooling around with Ibn Wessler? They say she's the jackpot. But I've never been into cats, you know. <laughs> you couldn't be more racist if you tried, Bosco. <laughs> don't misunderstand me. I don't have a problem with cats at all. I'm simply allergic to them. I can't stand being around them. I don't even take cases with cats. Good for you. I should have used that excuse myself. Why? Is your investigation related to her? What? No, of course not. We, we just came from her show. That's why I asked. <laughs> and what's she like? Well, I guess your cat allergy would go away for the rest of your life if you met her. <laughs> really? Uh, maybe I'll have a go and see for myself one day. Don't drink that shit, Marty. It's bad for your health. Sonny, you are bad for my health. <laughs> Don't drink that shit, Sonny. Join the force. Protect the crown. Serve the people. Get bribed. Get beaten by a hooker. Get fat. Nice words. Nice promises. Nice bullshit. Why is it always a lion? Lions are lazy, dull, good-for-nothing creatures. Hey, stop talking like that. It's disrespectful. Why? Aren't I right? Not every lion's the same. Just like not every rooster is an asshole like you. You got me. Sometimes I think everything would be so much better if cops didn't have guns. That's almost surreal coming from you, Marty. Don't get me wrong. I love guns. I became a cop because of guns. But sometimes I feel if we didn't have guns, criminals wouldn't have them either. The chicken or the egg, huh? Unfortunately, I don't agree with you. If you point flowers instead of a gun at a total nutcase, he's still gonna shoot you. I can't even remember why I became a cop. I can't even... Did you ever notice how much bigger the lion and the fox are than the other animals? You know, maybe all animals are equal, but some animals are more equal than others. Huh. So that's why our king's a fox and not a sheep or a bird, right? It's maybe a little late, but you're starting to get it, detective. Where are the insects, anyway? And the reptiles? Did you ever think about that? Many times. I think they didn't fit the idyllic image, so they've been left out. Simple as that. Uh, that says a lot about this city. It says everything, Marty. What about the fish? No one talks about the fish. Did you know there's a theory that the Foundation War was a hoax? That the reptiles deliberately kept in the background, but in reality, they're the ones controlling the city from the underground even Conspiracies. now. Conspiracies! Where did you hear that? I'd never heard such sheep shit before. Sheep yeah, shit. Tomorrow's word. That's a pretty prestigious newspaper. I wouldn't use that trash to wipe my cloaca, Marty. <laughs> Rot your brain. <laughs> well, at least I read something other than the labels on liquor bottles. Hey, that was a bit below the belt. Yep, but true. You got me. It's a very beautiful crest. Yeah, it is. Just like the city. From afar, at least. 
It's a very beautiful. Yeah, it is. Okay. I can't even remember. Okay. Miss Jardine, one of the seven female officers of the Clawville PD. Miss Jardine, Officer Barkman, unwavering cub and a slavering beast. A slavering beast? I don't know what that means. Oh, no. Okay. Don't forget to keep your gun clean, Marty. Hey, I take them all apart every day, clean and oil them, if you want to know. I didn't want to know. No use crying over spilt milk. Which one of them was first, peace or guns? You mean, why did the chicken cross the road? I don't know. Which one of them was first? You mean, I... Sure, we won't need Layla? You call this monster Layla? She's not a monster, Sonny. If you know how to treat her right, she's a real ballerina. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I believe you, pal, but we're not taking her. Oh. And what if. No, Marty. There's no way in hell we're taking a Tommy gun with us. Ugh. All right. I believe this piece is forbidden. Cops can't use it, but this is Marty's personal collection, so it doesn't matter. At least nobody has ever complained. Weird. I believe this piece is forbidden. Gonna try this again. Five, six, two, fuck! <laughs> Shit. Baba. Getting better. <sighs> what? I want to start over. Oh, my God. Just gonna lose. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 One, two, three, fuck! Five, six. One, two, three, four, fuck! Shit! One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, one, two, th fuck, three, four, five, shit. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
One, two, three, four. Fuck! And. Oh, achievement unlocked. Sharpshooter. Oh, but I have to beat him, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. Sometimes it just doesn't want to go. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 One, two. Three, four, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Fuck! I'm close. I'm getting there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Shit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thank you, sweetie. One, two, three. Three, fuck, four, fuck, <laughs> five, six, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 Five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah! One, two, fuck! Three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. Fuck two. Oh my god, I was so close. <sighs> ah. <laughs> if I didn't shoot her. One, two, three, four, five, six. One.
four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. I got it. I'm just gonna wait. <laughs> Wait, I don't get anything for beating the high score? Are you joking? <laughs> oh, let me see. There's a fucking better achievement for it. Let's not um, spoil ourselves. Yeah, I guess there's nothing else. Right. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna cut talk to him and then he gave me a yeah an achievement for 500 points, but not for a thousand points. You seem unsure. Really? Yeah, I think I'm just tired. You know, Laura and I have been fighting recently, and I've been sleeping on the couch. Yeah, well, it shows. Thanks. You always know how to cheer someone up. So, hi, user. Um, so we've been to the... What's the name of the club? Shit, I already forgot. The Czar Club. Czar Club. And we've seen um, Natasha sing. We've talked to her in her room. And she invited us to our weekend cabin. And so I'm just like doing extra things before we go see her at the, at the weekend house. Basically. So I'm very, very early in the game. Laura I'd say. I think. Out, did she? No, nothing like that. It's uh, just a little unrest. Uh huh. I see. Oh. Marty looks kind of run down today, but he's still in better shape than I am. Marty looks kind of... It may not be a good time to say this, but I've got a bad feeling about tonight. You could have told me about that sooner, Sonny. You can still turn back. Stay here and keep wasting ammo. Like hell, yeah, yeah, whatever. whatever insane shit's waiting for us, it's way better than dying of boredom. Well, I'm sure we won't be bored. I hope. I hope. Don't not. you want to practice a little? You must be all I just did. I beat hiatus. your score, if you bitch. Want to, I sometimes practice at the empty hotel. Leslie lets you shoot up the place. Lewis. And no, he doesn't. But there's a room that one of the gorillas of the Castilla clan had totally trashed. I do. You won't notice one or two holes. Ah, clever. I want all the achievements and all the thingies, all the stats here. I want all the questioning points, all the scenes, all the achievements, all the entries, all of it. Shall we go, or do you want to stay and shoot a bit? I don't know, but don't worry, we'll soon be on our way. Because in this game, like, want, side, like, re, like talking to people several times and stuff actually gives you shit, which is great. Okay, what do we know about Bosco? A couple of years ago, Bosco and Marty had a huge fight because of some girl in the office. Neither of them got her in the end, but at least both gained some valuable life lessons. And a few scratches, of course. Hector Three, the Fox King, the third. Hector the third, or as most animals call him, the Fox King, is the third member of the Fowler dynasty. Although Clawville is a small state, its king is amongst the most influential animals of the wilderness, not because of the city's actual importance, but for the riches of its faraway colonies. Okay, that's 
Although Claville is a monarchy, the actual power and jurisdiction, aside from the king, are in the hands of the Council of Twelve, or, at most animal think, entirely, and the king himself is only a puppet and a symbol. The members of the council are the mightiest animals in the city after the king, employing not only politicians, but influential businessmen as well. The Founding War. It was the great war between the Alliance and the Swamp Clans that finally decided Clawville's fate and raised the city in the hands of the Alliance among the greatest, the great colon, colonial powers. This marks the beginning of Clawville's time, meaning it occurred exactly 942 years ago. Because that's the date tonight. Um, there we go. I don't think I can do anything else now. I can go back to Hobdog, but I've, I've seen it all. So I think I'm gonna leave it here. I've been almost uh, here for five hours. I'm having a lot of fun. But, uh, yeah, I'll come back to it another time, I think. Uh, wait. What's this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did that. Hell yeah. Oh, thanks for the follow. That's really nice of you. Hope you... Thank you for showing up today and for following and hope to see you soon. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I think... I'm just gonna exit the menu. All right. That's it for today. We had fun. Um, I'll go back to it soon. Thanks, uh, Bash, for the res resubscribing for eight months. So nice. And uh, thank you, user PO, for the follow. Um, let me see. I'm gonna rate someone. I haven't rated anyone in a while. I don't think anyone's playing this game, unfortunately, uh, right now, but we can look. Chicken police. There's me. <laughs> and that's it. Uh, let's see. Let's ra raid old Grampy Mama. She's playing Days Gone. And, uh, yeah. I don't know that game, but it all seems fun. Uh, yeah. Old Grampy Mama. Oops, I'm not in the right place. Thank you for the... Why are you... <laughs> You're silly. It's okay. Um, slash raid old grumpy mama. There we go. Thank you for the shout out, sweetie, on my own channel. <laughs> Thank you for the for being here, sweetie. And uh, that's it. Thanks, everyone, and see you soon. Oh wait, 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 wait! I want to open the stream first. Okay, it's here. Okay, bye, <laughs> bye. <laughs>